<laughs> Hello. Hello and welcome. Oh, oh, dear. Dear. oh, oh dear. Dear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hello. All right. Welcome to the first <laughs> part of our Lucky Hit Plays Rainbow Redemption. Ah, oh, yes. Right. This tonight. Has been a treat. This game has really been a treat, mm. a literal treat, because it was free, <laughs> and it was yeah. made by a fan, uh, mm. Ray Manny. Oh, uh, Ray Manny. Ray Manny. Manny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who has yeah. Uh, spent three years creating this fan one one to one recreation of Rayman from the PlayStation, but with tons of extra stuff, including, as you will see today, a whole new world. Don't like you dare close your eyes. Yeah, don't. Right. So, we're going to start playing this thing. Yeah. I will move the mouse over to you so you can control the game. And we shall control the, hey, the thing. Hey, hey, Shelf Gamer. Hey there, Shelf Gamer. Let's know what the sound right. levels and all that okay. are like. So, so far I've been doing a bit of backtracking. Mm. Yeah, you did a little bit of stuff off stream, didn't you? Just so we've got plenty of uh, yeah. tunes and collectibles and stuff. Right, so... But we are going to try and focus on um, carrying on with the story mode. Yeah. In this new world. Toy world. <laughs> which is based on assets from Rayman Jr., I believe. That. And um, the, oh, game, yeah, the Game Boy Advance version of Rayman Rabbids as oh, well. Oh, the arrows. Oh, that's the uh, cage magnet. Oh, you bought that, did you? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we looked at that in the shop, didn't we? And it was quite a lot of... Uh, things. Yeah. But I guess you saved up for it. Yeah, I had to grind a bit. Like but... All them Lego, as as the proper term is, not Legos. You can't say Legos; it's unofficial. Oh god! Ooh, oh wow! He's got a hammer. So have you mm. not played this level yet? No. Ah, okay. Because yeah, this is all completely basically made from scratch, essentially. <laughs> Yeah, like Ooh, I say, it's, it's sort of based on, um, yeah, it's based on that level in a uh, um, Raving Rabbids. Oh, the GBA Raving Rabbids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So these are technically Game Boy Advance graphics. Um, well, some, some of them are, some of them but are. maybe redrawn to match the style mm. more. The music certainly from uh, that version of the game. Yeah. Don't tell, don't tell Rayman fans that this is from Rabbids. <laughs> Poxy Lego Land. <laughs> right. Bloody yes. Lego buildings. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hey there. Yep, it's all going good. Mm -hmm. We just about got this stream set up in time because we were having dinner, and then I realised we had about. 25 minutes to set up, I was yeah. like, oh god, I've got to get everything upstairs. <laughs> but, mm. oh, they even got the little Lego trees. Yeah! <laughs> oh, they, I don't know why, but when I was really little, they were one of my fa favourite Lego pieces with the little the little trees. Uh, I don't I know why. Because yeah. you could sort of like flick the, flick the leaves in a way, because it was like. All the Meccano bits are uh, slippery. Oh, slippery Meccano. Yep. So I'm going to have to move on. Lego, Meccano, puzzle pieces. Oh yeah, you've changed your uh, camera checkpoint skin as well. Oh yeah, I changed it to the spider. Ah. Yeah, there's bits of Meccano, there's floating Legos, Lego, <laughs> Lego Rayman. That's not a thing. Yeah, mm. I love the Lego trees. <laughs> they make me weirdly nostalgic. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it does. I don't know why. Well, it's giving me vibes of the music world, but obviously not the music world. Oh yeah. wow, that's a that's a layout. You can just run clean through those. Uh, some of them. They're a bit like the uh, sort of metal um, music um, sheet musics in. Um, ah yes. That band land. Ah yeah. State is it staves? Hmm. Oh, it's, it's seeing, a... that, seeing that Meccano is just reminding me of how your dad found a whole, like, tin full of old Meccano in, sh in his shed, didn't they? Yeah. A while back. A few, and, must have been a couple um, of years ago now, but, like... Oh, it was, it was, quite, it was quite a long time ago. Yeah, probably and this, longer um, than I thought. And uh, this, um, 
so I hope to put it up on eBay. And oops, bugger. <laughs> yeah. And um, oh, look, look, look. The little dippy oh. pen and the uh, uh, bubble. Oh. It's one of them little bubble things. Oh. The googly eyes. That's well cute. Right. Oh, sorry, I'm distracting you. It's okay. Um, <laughs> but I was saying, yeah. So we put it on eBay. It went for about a hundred and fifty pounds or something. And <laughs> like, it was like an old boy who bought it. And mm. it yeah. was a proper vintage Meccano, though, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like, Back from roughly when it came out, maybe uh, I don't know. It might have been thirties or forties. Something like that, but it's been around since like what the twenties, thirties, something mm. like that. I know it's that old. It is pretty old. Mm. It was like pre World War. Yeah. I know that much. Yeah. Um. So that was that. <laughs> that's that's all. That's all that Meccano on this level reminded me of. It's just mm. that one. Experience with Meccano. I don't think I ever had Meccano. Actually, I might have done. I think I remember being very little and just dropping mm. loads of the pieces so they make a lot, of, a lot of noise. And that was about my extent of playing with Meccano. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have had Meccano at that age because all I did with it is smash it about, <laughs> just, <laughs> just drop it on top of each other. Mm. I did smash that case, didn't I? I think you did. The one that he... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Meccano reminds me of Butlins. Not sure why, <laughs> says uh, Rick. Mm. Uh, yeah, maybe they had Meccano ah. at a Butlins you went ah. to? I don't know. Mm. That'd be my guess. There we go. I'll just put this on mute. Do, 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 do. Put this on mute. I'll move this. Oh. I don't know if this is a Kaizo level or not. Car. <laughs> is he gonna go get in his car? Oh. Ah! Oh wow, uh... there's actually a little car. Get in my car. I'm gonna get in my car. I, I lost like... my car. <laughs> I like driving in my car. <laughs> I was thinking of like. That weird accent Rayman puts in the TV series about. Oh yeah, you know, I don't know the one you mean. Yeah. But, Cartoon's weird. Yeah. It... Like. Yeah. I don't know why they decided to change all the characters into like OC versions, like knockoff versions of the characters from two. Oh dear. But I'm backtracking. It's like, oh, we could put, we could put. <clears throat> Lee and glow box in this, but let's in, let's instead put a skinny glow box with buck teeth, mm. whose teeth seem to move on their own, independent of his mouth mm. at points. Oh yeah, <laughs> like he goes parking now, and his teeth like independently move. It's really spooky. Uh, yeah, it's like oh yeah, let's put skinny buck tooth glow box. Let's put not Lee. <laughs> oh, she's more like. But she's just like a random girl. More like a. She's more like um, Bettina, uh, Batilla. Because like, yeah, got the yeah. red hair. Yeah, I suppose so. Red hair. Um. She just looks like every girl next door character that's in cartoons from that era. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, I'm sassy. Yeah, you know, red hair, um, yellow and green um tops. Yeah. Yeah, like Frankie Foster types, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh. Oh, what have we got here? Um, lots of spikes, <laughs> as is the as is the tradition of Rayman level design. Wow, there's a lot of cars up there. I like the noise they make, a little stock mm. car noise. Mm. Hang on, another green Dorito. Oh yeah. I wouldn't eat that one. That one might be a bit a bit moldy. Hmm. There's a lot of cars there. <laughs> whole horde of cars. Mm. Like a little multi-story car park. Yeah, so not only did I buy the uh, cage magnet, I bought the um, uh, the goodie magnet as well. Oh yeah. So, and the goodie one is like um, finding the uh, magician tokens and the... Uh, uh... Oh, so you bought both of them. Cool. Oh, little toy robots. Mm. Uh, yeah. Fuck um, him off. Yeah, I just wanted a hug. 
Yeah, the magician tokens and the presents, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically you've got hints. Oh yeah, there's loads of them on the following you around right now actually. You've got like three cage. That's actually a little bit distracting on the platforming, but it seems but Whoa Jesus. Off you guys. Uh, I phase through puzzle pieces as I am robot. I robot. Yeah, I guess you can't actually defeat these things, you just have to push them back. Mm, suppose not. And they make proper old jets and noises. Oh, it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the, um, the plums do in the first world. Yeah. But not the exact same noise, like a, a distinctively different one. <laughs> mm. oh, God. The robots. Oh dear. Getting both to walk over there. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's it, that one. Oh, another. Uh... I hope there's some like fuzzy felt in this level or something like that. <laughs> oh, fuzzy felt! Yeah, put some fuzzy felt. Do a. Uh, um. Oh, what was that stuff that was like. I'm trying to think what it is. Like fuzzy fell, but it wasn't fuzzy fell. It was like a thing that you drew on, and it would, it was all like little spiky things underneath the surface mm. of it. And then when you... oh, is it Velcro or something um... like that? I have a Rayman fist where he just makes that stuff appear. Stuff from walking off, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh... Careful. I have to get to that from above. Yeah. Mm. A little bit dark on this one. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, I was about to take away control. Mm. I'll let you know if I want to adjust All that. Right. Okay. Freeman! That's his name. Someone spelled it out in blocks. They're very clever. Mm. Oh, that's what you got to do. Oh, can I reach that with this ball, maybe? I oh, yeah, I think you need that ball in some fashion. If you can get it up there, then hmm. mm. unless there's a way to get it up it up there with the platform you're about to go up, oh, I might go up there. Oh, oh. Ah, oh! Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's interesting. Ah, that would have been helpful if it. Oh, it's staying up there, sweet. That'll do, that'll mm. do. I doubt that's the intended route, but it works. <laughs> oh, mate. Ah, yeah, you probably just had to go up there. But, never mind. Mm. <laughs> a, way, a ways away. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever the saying is. Oh, good. Getting a life. I always thought it was weird when a stage has lots of stuff about the main character. Casino signs and Sonic tend to be guilty of this. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like, why has Robotnik built a casino that celebrates Sonic and Tails everywhere? <laughs> I guess oh, in this case you could just say, eyes. I don't know, a giant human child knows of Rayman. I was like, yeah, I'm going to write his name out in letters. Smiley face. How many of these enemies are like unique? Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, because it's been that definitely looks like it's made for this game as opposed to like a GBA game or anything. Yeah, it's been an incredibly long time since I last played um, Raving Rabbids on GBA. Hmm, maybe that's something we could do down the line. Yeah, like on a on a GameCube or something. Yeah. I know uh, a... Capture or GBA doesn't look amazing on uh, GameCube because I haven't got the best cables for it, but... Well, I'm, I'm going to need to somehow get that, um... I know, ball over like, there. Raving Rabbids on GBA is kind of like the 2D equivalent of what Rayman Raving Rabbids was originally going to be. <laughs> like yeah. The game was originally going to be a platformer. 
I mean, I yeah. suppose the people that made the handheld version didn't get the memo, or were just told you to continue doing what they were doing. Because, <laughs> yeah, it feels that GBA version feels like it's what Rayman oh! Rapids was originally mm. gonna be. Okay, a platformer. <laughs> yeah. But two D instead of three D. Yeah, because I think that happens a few times, isn't that? Mm. Like handheld, like Game Boy versions of games that resemble mm. the the early version of a 3D game. Like, oh. Con what was that game? On there was like a Conquer game on the Game Boy Color that was based on what Conquer was originally going to be on the N64 before they decided to make him a foul mouth little thing. Mm. <laughs> like, it was originally it was just going to be a cutesy platformer called Conquer's Tales or something like yeah. that. And then they put out a handheld game first, didn't they? And it was basically yeah. that. And then, mm. so it was a bit strange. It was like your first expo oh, your first exposure to. Uh, by the way, you're completely cutting off the webcam. Mm. Look forward to that. <sighs> uh, I'm the camera, I suppose. Oh, the lighting seems better now, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, just trying to get that. Yeah, so away. like, kids would be like, "Oh yeah, I had to uh, conquer whatever it was called, Tales on the Game Boy Color." Mm. I remember what a lovable little. Scampy was. Let's play the N64 one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Something changed. <laughs> but yeah, I remember there were screenshots of Conquer for the N64 when it was first revealed. I don't know if they were intending for the game to be like that or if it was just one big elaborate troll, but the fact that um, the Game Boy Color game came out makes me think otherwise. Like, yeah. they initially designed that game as just a cutesy platformer and then halfway through development somewhere they were like, eh, let's try and do something different. <laughs> oh! We've made enough cutesy platformers, I think we should make one that's a bit different. Yeah, and have like, um, all sorts of naughty things going on in it. <laughs> yeah. Inclu ah, yeah. In including, like, taking the mick out of us um, people from Liverpool. <laughs> Not them scouse beetles. <laughs> oh god, yeah. That game's very British. Even by rare standards, it's very British. Ah! Oh, Oops. Almost. Oh, you're trying to get it across there. Yeah, yeah. Almost. Watch how that basketball like, respawns in a minute. Oh, yeah. You just go. Whew. Yeah. Oh, you know. Oh. Well, uh, Shelf Game was talking about, um, like, games where characters like levels have characters all over the place. I think the one that always gets me is in like Mario Kart games when they have levels like there's that whole level in Mario Kart I think the GameCube one but it was also in 8 where the whole yeah. course is just shaped like Yoshi. Oh yeah. It's like how narcissistic is Yoshi? Is he just stinking rich and he just like, it's like oh, I'm gonna have an island and I'm gonna construct I'm gonna have pe toads construct an island for me, and it's gonna be shaped like me, and it's gonna be named after me, and mm. everything's gonna have Yoshi faces on it. And it's just like it's so narcissistic. It seems to always be Yoshi for some reason. I know there's more than one Yoshi, they're a race, not a a single character, but mm. maybe that's why. I don't know, but I, I just always found that especially weird, like the Yoshi stuff. <laughs> it's called Yoshi's Island, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not the Yoshi's Island from the game Yoshi's Island, I presume, but yeah. Oh, come on. Let's, let's try this again. <laughs> I think. It just floats there. Yeah, this looks rotating. Ah! Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> that the only way to cross all that. Yeah, or like to get to that magician token. Yikes. Oh, I see, it's just big one them tokens. Ah, so like it's not just mm. to get through the level, it's a more advanced mm. thing. I was going to say, this seems a bit advanced for just getting through the level. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Line down, and... Don't want to get hard to stick as it. Ah! Goes down there, yeah. You probably need to hit it a little bit gentler. Maybe. Oh, that, <laughs> you, see, you see that it um respawns like um like it grew back in like a plum. Peck, peck, peck the basketball. Yep. Certainly pecking away at this basketball. <laughs> yeah, it's, 
seems quite tedious. Yeah, maybe do a hard punch here, and depending where it lands there. Hmm, maybe hard punch here, just do, or yeah, just do little punches. Might be too. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to go hard punch, hard punch, then soft punch. Yeah. So when, well, you know, you get it to the edge of this one as much as you can. That's it. Hard punch it there. Uh, maybe just gentle pu punch, and then gentle punch here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just a little bit of a rev up, not a full rev up. If you can do that, if it is ever if, mm. <laughs> like a little me, yeah, like a little bit of, yeah. I don't know if there's much difference in that, but you know, whether you do a full thing or not. How'd you wind it? Ah! Ah! Yeah, this looks super tricky. Yeah. Oh, if I don't, um, you know, if I don't feel very oh. successful um, in the next few goes or so, I'll probably move on. Yeah. You, them tokens are mainly for those uh, extra levels, aren't they? Yeah, the magician like the, levels. The time, time limited ones. Oh. Hmm. One more. Yeah. One more. <laughs> I'll say one more and then. Ah, <sighs> uh, no. all right. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving yeah, on. Mind. Oh, I see what it's from now. Oh, do you need it down here, though? Uh, I guess so. I think you do actually need it just to get past all them spikes. Or yeah. maybe just drop it down the first hole as a shortcut. Mm. To that platform there. I mean, now you've got this spot, you may as well. If I land them, oh, where's it going? Oh, went right in between them baddies. Oh, oh god, oh god. Uh, oh, that'll do. Mm. <laughs> that'll do. Oh, I'm getting out. Time being. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you die. You're probably going to end up having to do it again if you do mm. get hit. I'll let him fall down there, I guess. Oh, right, another one? Oh, God. One four. Oh, that's another cage. Ah. Uh. Mm. Oh! Ouch. <laughs> oh, now you're back here. Yeah. <laughs> right, at least you'll have more health this time, hopefully. Oh, he's over here as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, I went forward. Oh, yeah, you got the uh, Tonic Trouble uh, costume on at the moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's another platform where Ubisoft did just before Rayman 2. Uh, yeah. To sort of test out the engine, I think it was. That was the initial idea, anyway, and then they ended up, by, ended up just making the whole game out of it. Missing something at the end of this bit. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, just, just, ah. I think they want technically they want you to navigate the basketball all the way around, but mm, yeah.
Yeah, if he was wearing the dynamite heady costume, all this mm. basketball punching would make so much sense. That was a lot of these guys. Oh, and the tunes? Yeah. Spawn it. Any, um, right. Whoever bought this job lot of uh, Alpha mm. Blocks mm. got a bit ripped off because they only seem to have mm. certain letters. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to move on. Right, so I bought all these alphabet blocks, but I've only got enough to spell Rayman and maybe a couple other words. You know. Oh boy. Oh, we've got here. Yar. This sounds like kids. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Giant. Oh, he's real cute. Aw, oh, you're so cute. Alright, something tells music. Something tells me this is from might be from Roving Rabbit as well. This background, this general theme of this level and this music's making me giving me Amiga vibes now. Mm. Or like James Pond, which is quite the same thing as like a meager aesthetic, I guess. Yeah. It's a puzzle background. Uh, Brian Money has apparently been streaming some like like mega games or, oh, is it? or some kind of like boss games. I did see he has a channel that just has been streaming games as well, so that's cool. What you get that? Ah. Uh, sometimes, get... sometimes I like Amiga aesthetic. Sometimes, yeah. not always. <laughs> like, sometimes it's appropriate. Let's get out of here. I think what games have successfully felt like Amiga aesthetic in a good way in recent memory. Mm. I know that um, what's it called? That Switch game was it? Can't stop. Won't stop. Mm -hmm. oh, what's it called? Ah, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I played it on an eShop thing. That oh. avoid them up with the little the oh, square um... thing. Oh, what it's called now? Oh, that don't, one. Don't doesn't... don't stop, Mr. Robot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's like don't stop, Mr. Robot, or something like that. That game feels like the good kind of Amiga aesthetic. I'd say both in gameplay and how. How absurdly kind of British it is, oh. and how yeah yeah how visually kind of all over the place it is. Most Amiga Amiga game is all. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is definitely the first thing you think of when you think Amiga aesthetic. For me, is either Robocod or Zool. <laughs> Yeah. Like especially if it's like one of the earlier versions with like the gradient backgrounds. Like mm. this right here is more like Amiga 1200 or AGA aesthetic, whereas 
if you really wanted old school Amiga aesthetic, the background just needs to be a coloured gradient. <laughs> a really bright coloured gradient. I really want to do Amiga streams, but the CD32 went bust. Like, I actually set up a layout and everything, <laughs> and I can't do it right now. Yeah, I'm considering getting one of those misters. Like that, oh, yeah. um, hobbyist FPGA because that can do all, like home computers really easily and quite nicely. Uh, they're oh, quite a bit of money, but yeah. I think it would be worth the investment just to be able to stream any home computer stuff and consoles. But I'd probably mostly use it for all the home computer stuff because it'd be easier than em emulating yeah, them, to be honest. That's, that's very true. I'd love to get one of those. But, um, Either that will get my CD32 fixed. I haven't actually tested it since that um, that James Pond stream, so maybe it's rectified itself. I doubt it, but I'll have to test it at some point and see. I must admit, I'm surprised Rayman didn't start out as like an Amiga game. Mm. Like it started out as like a Super Nintendo mm. game. I'm just surprised there isn't like some kind of lost Amiga version of this somewhere, mm. like an early, you know, like in the same style as the SNES one, but... I think what might have been, what might have been more of a case would be if um, there was like a lost um, Atari version. Hmm, Atari ST, yeah. Mm. Generally, when there's an ST version, there's almost always an Amiga version to go with it, so... most of the time. I mean, most of the time it was like ST games were just ports of Amiga games rather than the other way around. Sometimes it was the other way around. Not as much. Making me dizzy. Right up you get. I'm considering how many weird reboots and revivals we've had in recent memory, I'm surprised someone hasn't tried to bring back the Zool. Mm. Yeah, like the amount of attempts at kickstarting stuff like Boogerman and that. I'm surprised someone hasn't tried to bring back Zool. Not that anyone wants it, as far as I know. Mm. There might be one or two people out there that want it, but I can't imagine there's that many. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen. Oh, we've got to kickstart a new Zool. Oh, why didn't anyone want it? <laughs> mm. I'm just surprised it hasn't been attempted yet, you know? Maybe by like System 3 or something. I don't even know who owns the rights to Zool uh, anymore. It might even be abandoned where at this point. Uh, I mean, if there was a Kickstarter, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> mm. I did with Boogerman, but that, that didn't go anywhere. Uh, I wanted to. Pond. I wanted to do a James Pond one, but. Um, I hey think there, Andrew. before um, it got cancelled, um, I wasn't impressed with how little was uh, being shown for it. That's why I actually didn't do it. Oh, what, the Rayman one? No, no, the, um, the James Pond one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of Kickstarters, you know, they, they need to get the funding before they can even really start it. But their ideas didn't really sound great to start with you know it was just like oh i don't know we'll make some kind of greatest hits thing where it's just a mashup of the three games it's like that no. we got <laughs> oh and we'll call it batfish <laughs> that's the best pun we can come up with batfish is that really <laughs> i remember we talked about that on a podcast years ago yeah. it was either that or um one of the tap abouts oh we definitely talked about it on a, a podcast I think I was listening to it a while back because I was going through some of the old podcasts and I came back to that. That's the only reason I even remember what they were going to call it. Oh. Yeah, kind of. The only the only thing that stood out about uh, Zool was the fact there was giant chubby chub logos everywhere. Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> Ow! I, I, I remember the Amiga version and I think some of the other versions came with a pretty nice uh, comic book in the manual. But that's about all I can remember. Um, I played more Soul 2 than I did Soul 1. Uh, weirdly enough, that only came out on like. That didn't come to like Mega Drive and SNES and all that. It only came to uh, Jaguar, I think. Jaguar and uh, Mega, maybe Atari ST, I can't remember. But it wasn't on any console. Well, other than Jaguar, it wasn't on any 16 bit consoles. 
for whatever reason. Maybe the first one didn't do well enough. Oh, I've still got mine. Uh, I think. I don't think my copy is all too. Back here somewhere. I'm pretty certain I've got Soul 2. Hmm? Um, is it not in there at all? Oh. I know where it is, I know where it is. I need to take my mic off to get it. Oh, this I've is got, a... I've got my, I've still got my copy of Soul 2 with the Dakota wheel. Ah, oh, there's the, uh, the rainbow. Oh, we're doing the paint. The rainbow paint art thing again. Rainbow arts. That's a developer name, I haven't got that in Rainbow arts. Oh, I'm thinking of the the toy. Um, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I want to do Amiga streams. I can talk about Amiga all night. Easy. Mm. A good chunk of my childhood, even before Mega Drive, really. Mm. It's sort of what we had before. Well, around the same time as the Mega Drive, but I'll probably use the Amiga more. Uh, there we are. Okay. With his female counterpart, Zeus, <laughs> which is frankly a brilliant name. Uh, I think they could decode wheels in here. Who is it? Oh, it's got a little Games Master sticker on the inside that says this game belongs to Lisa and Michelle. Must be okay. where I bought it from a boot sale. Oh, there it is. Decoder wheel. You can't see it very well, but it's there. It's got like little body parts of. Zeus and Zul. And you have to line up the, the sprite in the oh, game I've and then really you have to do a couple of oh, little numbers. Oh, I've got to be an elf apparently. It's got a nice big poster with it as well. Massive poster with it. Oh, oh that was close. It's a huge poster. I should get this framed. I used to have a t-shirt of Zul as well. I've had for yonks, I ended up selling it on eBay, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Commodore 64 stream would be cool. Hmm. Could that be fear emulation or. Yeah. Even the discs got a nice full colour art on them. Alright, come on, you can. Whatever you want to play, you've got it. Okay. If you want to play, we've got it. <laughs> That's what that says. It's a gremlin flyer. Got Zool 2 uh, K240. I don't know that one. Disposable Hero. I think I've played that. It's a shooter, I think. Oh! Uh, Premier Manager 2. Um, uh, oh. Uh, what? Uh, right, nothing. Uh, I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was going to freeze for a second. Oh. Hasn't, and sometimes the game does sort of do that when it's loading something in, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean it's not like um, it's not super scary, but yeah, when it does happen, it's like oh god, I've done something wrong. Whatever you want to play, we've got it. As long as the things you want to play are a platformer, a mm. strategy game, a another strategy game, some kind of shooter, or football management. As long as it's one of those five things. Hello there, Joshua. Hello. Thanks for joining us. We are playing the Rayman Redemptions. We are redeeming the Rayman. He has been redeemed. We have our receipt and everything. The receipt just says mm. zero pounds and zero P on it. That mm -hmm. it was certainly redeemed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's good mm. to get in there. Ah. They put the platforms up here for you to get up there, but mm. is there any way to run and jump through it? Like, by doing that funny little jump? Mm. No. It's not. Like, maybe from like the third one, you could sort of... No. <laughs> mm, that's curious. Those are very tricky to get up most of the mm. time. Oh, it's like there. Oh. The sun's coming through again. It's coming oh, through. It's unless I've got to be now. the um. Oh, the tiny Rayman. Yeah, unless... that would make sense. Oh. oh, you can be the tiny Rayman and and a paint Rayman. That's cool. That's cool. They let you combine the powers like that. Yeah. But the the original engine for this game probably couldn't even do that. 
I mean, mm. the original game didn't even have this ability, so, like the, uh, the paint one, anyway. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, we can reach it. Oh, blimey. It's mm. quite a reach. Maybe I run in towards it. Can you get out there? These spiky things are bigger mm. than you are right now. Yeah, that's, that's scary. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There you go. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this. We've done three streams of this. Both both of them were almost five hours apart. Mm. Uh, been going for about 40 minutes on this one. Well, we don't know for sure, but we think this might be the last one of the story anyway. If we beat the story tonight, this will be the last stream. Yeah. Basically. There's, there's loads of other little bits and bobs in this, like collect other collectibles and things to buy and other little mm. secrets. But we're not yeah. going to 100% this on stream, we're just going to try and get the basic story yeah. done. Ooh, so mm. Nice hammer. <laughs> Ever done his door, did you? I suppose the uh, other thing is... um. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, one of the um, I suppose one of the things we've got to think about is a, is a, it'd be a matter of when we get back to what when we have to go back to work. Mm. You know whether whether um work's gonna like give us the time to do these things or not. It we'll, we'll see we'll see how things go. I still intend to even when I go back to work. I still intend to try and stream at least twice a week. Like, yeah. At yeah, the very exactly. least, I want to be able to still do weekly podcasts and weekly uh, yeah. Splunky, at the very least. Because, um... God. Ooh, I hate the lightning eyes. Probably won't be able to consistently do it on the same day like we've been doing, but... Uh, I suppose not. Like, every Monday. <clears throat> yeah, like, the podcast every Monday at 8pm. We'll be doing one tomorrow at that time, for example. But like... Yeah, it, all, it really all depends on the... How uh, work's gonna go back for us? Yeah, exactly. You know, zero hour contracts. Yeah, they're all over the place. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, I think I just missed the life, but never mind. Oh well, we've got we've got seventeen. Mm -hmm. Should be enough. I wonder if there's a boss attached to the. Oh. Oh, this, I think this is the bit of the train. Oh, there he is. Here oh. comes a creepy Hi, train. Hi, Tom. Hey, Tom. You just arrived in time for more Thomas content. There it is. <laughs> it's even got it's even got a locomotive um, number on it. Yeah, it's the same kind of colour scheme as well. Oh god, there he is. Ugh! He's gonna grab you with his little floaty hands. Ah! Oh god. Oh, gonk. There you go, Thomas content. Give yeah, Thomas we content. we pro we promised people um, we'd make more Thomas. Well, there it is. Just by chance, it just happens. I mean, there was a little Bird clip house. in the trailer that showed yeah. this train, so we sort of knew. That's why we're playing it, because we knew we had to get to Thomas. Oh. Now we've done that, we can just finish this. Fantastic! <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that's all the cages um, now. Oh, what, in this area? Yeah, in this level. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> just lying there, like, so, so tired. So, just trying to think. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just trying to think now with um Oh yeah oh yeah I did get the present as well, it's just completing the level now. Yeah. Pass these trains. Ah. What a murder. Yeah. Um <laughs> you hit the wall and just bang. <laughs> it's like, well that's my job. I was just here to try and attack Rayman. That's all I'm here for. Bonk. Right, um Yeah, this photo is weird. It's a... Uh, Oh, opportunities like yeah, I'm a spider with suction cup spider. Oh Jesus! Ah, oh Jesus! Do they actually push you back when you? They do. Um... I just make them all blend into each other. It's fine. They're all, they're oh, all is it now. two or a five? Hmm? Uh, well, what, their it number. A, it was a two one way round and a five the other way round. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes. That totally makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to draw two sprites just for this train being the opposite mm. way around. Just put maximum on it, then mm. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what way round it is. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. Uh. Oh. Whew. Yeah, if you wrote maximum yeah. downwards, it worked perfectly either way. Yeah. I always thought that was genius in Street Fighter. <laughs> uh, DJ's uh, trousers has the word maximum down them, so no matter what way round he is, it always still says maximum, because right. mirrored, it's still maximum. Okay. <laughs> Let's explain the joke. Oh, another one of these. Right. I like these chess pieces. Well, um... Another bzzzt level. Oh, ouch. You can sort of tell some of the music in this game is definitely not of the Red Book audio variety. Well, at least it wasn't originally. These are definitely remixes as well, aren't they? I think, I believe they are. This one sounds like a remake. A remix. Not, yeah, they're not... It doesn't sound like pure GBA music. It's mm. not near scratchy enough. Yeah, I believe they have been reworked. Yeah, so they sort of like match up with the, the CD quality of the other stuff. Robots are gonna get ya. Oh. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I don't know, this music is definitely giving me the Amiga vibes. Mm. Probably just because it's more retro than. Oh! More retro ah, ah! Mr. Magician. It's fine. It's pointing at it's still like, oh, go back, go back and get it. Yeah, Except I can't, but no. Another time, can't you? Are, like those, the, are uh, those bird houses? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what toy bit? world boy, uh, bird houses. Or they like little um, I don't know something like you keep like a mouse in or something, mm. <laughs> like a little mouse house. I don't know. Right, live the chess master. Ooh. Oh yikes! You're gonna have to play a game of chess master, which is ah! whoa. Oh. No tricky doors giving you trouble. Sure about that. They're usually calm, but Mr. Dark's influence scared them shut. Anyway, to open them now is with the right keys. Oh, God! Yay, key puzzles! His <gasps> voice. <gasps> Bunk. Oh, God, giant keys. Oh, key puzzles. Oh, yeah, they're bird houses. Oh, yeah. We've got little birds sitting by. Oh! <gasps> Look at his door's face! <laughs> oh. A bunch of... It's getting proper Alice in Wonderland in here. Oh yeah, it's impossible. Don't pull my nose. Yeah, why are there bird houses in this toy land? Uh, yeah. Good, very good question. I got Ah, let's just get back up here. I've got to find another key. Yeah, so for anyone unfamiliar with, or you know, unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the original Rayman, this world is completely unique to this version. It's yeah. based on assets from another Rayman game on the GBA to some extent. And yeah. And maybe like Rayman Jr. and stuff, but um, yeah, this world is completely new. Like, it's not a retooled level from the original game, it's 100%. The layout, as far as I know, is 100% original. So that's cool. Oh, I get that, it. Nope, not my, not my key. Yeah, I get it. It's um. Color coded. Or rather, that's based like their the, faces. Yeah, based on the uh, yeah that. Yeah. yeah. No, but the like the nose, which I presume is supposed to be the doorknob, is in the middle of his face. Oh. Oops. <sighs> Oopsie. I do like the little, um, mm. the little uh, uh, water bottle thing. It's just like dipping itself in and blowing little bubbles. It's well cute. Oh, it's gonna get me. Oh, yeah, like that's like a, you know, like the shape recognition puzzles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. 
Wonder. Ah. Right, so the next key was up there. Man. Man I am. My favourite radio station. Man I am. I feel like a wo man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> what was your one? Okay, so, so I... that yellow door down here. Where yeah. Maybe the red door. Right. Just got to be a bit on. more careful here now. Yeah. Oh. Right now, here. Uh, oh God! <laughs> he just sacrificed his life to uh, just take a hit point off you. Mm. Like, oh, I got nothing else. I got nothing else to live for. Oh, okay, I see. Nice. Right, so... I do so... like how the little springs of wince when you jump on them. No, I wonder what the blue one is. It's back up this one. Yeah, it was up here. Right, past that. Uh... Oh, yeah, on the other side. Oh! Ah! I've got to get all the way back up there. Go round! Did you unlock any more of the uh, costumes or anything while um, you were backtracking? I unlocked a, um, a living stone costume. How oh, did you? Oh god. Mm. Uh. Nice. There we go. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha now. I like putting these uh, anti tunes right on the edges that you want to grip onto. Mm. Give that Just a way at him. Well, I can show you the um, living stone costume. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's like it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Dynamite. I'm like Hitty Rayman. Mm. Spider Rayman. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a weird one. Ooh. Yeah. Who's all green? You're supposed to go. Oh, like the enemies. Like the living stones. World. Yeah. Ooh. Rayman's looking a bit ill. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Might want to go to see Doctor. No, I think um. Big green face and mm. poo body. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, those my colour scheme things are pretty cool there. Eh? Yeah. Nice little extra, especially the ones that actually add little extra flourishes to the animation. Like the Rayman free ones. Oh, certainly. Oh, I, that was one of the few things I did like about uh, Rayman 3, uh, the combat fatigues. Yeah. I didn't think that game was bad, I just never got, I was just never motivated to beat it for whatever reason. Not like 2 anyway. Didn't get around to beating it at any point, I did it on GameCube originally I think. Maybe oh, go should back be to that game at some point. Yeah. Let's see if I get on a bit better. There was you have got that on the PS3, haven't you? Uh, I think it's sitting on there. Oh yeah, I've got yeah the PS3 version. A HD release. That got a HD release. <laughs> yeah. Because, except because uh, it wasn't to scale up. Except um, it had a few like graphical uh, issues. Ah. A lot of those ports back then did, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway. So, have another cage. Oh, I've still got to try and find a. Uh, Green key. Still got to try and find a key. Look at faces. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like something out of bloody uh, the money for nothing music video. Yeah. Oh, that a similar old CGI. Oh, oh right. Ah, oh, there it is. Tiny green sick Rayman. I like how even though he's tiny, his fist's still big when you throw it. Oh, you're going to light one last hit point. Oh yeah, I don't get lightning. 
Bouncing back and forth oh. for days. Mm. Oh boy, that for you. Oh, I probably need to turn big again, didn't you? Yeah, I kind of do. Right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Right, there we are. Mm. Mm, I can actually get through this. Curious to see what some of the other skins are going to end up being. Oh boy. Right. Keys behind doors. Oh boy. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. We've got like different expressions. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, equally derpy, but still. Right, so we've got a red key. Yeah, I should show you guys this. Red. Oh yeah, my uh, medallion. Hmm. Oh, ouch. Ouchie, ouchie, ouch. Right, it's good enough to see it. But... Yeah, yeah. This was um, one of the ones I ended up winning when I um, took part in the... Uh, Video contest. Oh yes, the video that's on our channel. If you haven't seen it, if you're a Rayman fan and you haven't seen the uh, I Love Rayman video on our channel, what are you doing? <laughs> Have a look at it. It's actually one of the most popular videos on our channel. So not hard to find. It's just pretty most popular and it's in like the second row. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. it comes in a lot. Nice little case as well. Yeah, this is what you did. This is what you got for getting doing that video, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was it was that. Um, I, had, I think I got Pretty a tote. Rad. I got a tote bag. Oh yes. And a lithograph. Oh, was was that where you got that really nice um, concept art? Yeah. Image that we still really want to frame. Yeah. I should probably go find that. It's beautiful. I love that. I really want to see. It. I really want that framed. It's a gorgeous piece of uh, concept mm. art of a. Uh, and then one mm. we've been riding the uh, mosquito, isn't it? Yes. Lovely it's, painting. It's one that was in the. Uh, it's one that's in the. Uh, the L'histoire of the Rayman book. As oh, the well. history of Rayman book. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's nice to have a nice proper print of it. Uh, sorry about my bad pronunciation of French stuff. That's right. That's why I just said history of Rayman. <laughs> right. I better get this uh, key. If I'm gonna go and get this um, yeah. oh, magician I token. So this is all optional as well, this whole door puzzle. Love this bit of it. Ooh, get out there. Ah, oh, nice. That grip is so useful. It's like one of the most useful mm. moves in the game. Yeah. What happens if, what happens if I... Uh... Beat the level tiny, you'll be tiny forever. Oh! oh. Uh... <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> but that's why I just I just grew back. Yeah. Oh God! Oh, it's that bug again. It's that bug again. Oh, there's your fist. It's okay. a dark toy level. Oh, lovely. Spooky music. Ah, what the hell's that? Oh, uh, it's just a little firefly thing. Firefly bug. Ooh. Well, let me know when mm. you, if you want to drink at any point. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Want right. to drink at any point, then, you know? Yeah. I've got water here, but... No, like, coffee or anything. Yeah. Um... Oh, this music's spooky. That's why it's called Child's Play. Yeah. The doll's going to come mm. after you. Oh! Ah! All robots. Oh, ah! What? <laughs> How are you supposed to he see just, that? He just came. Chest piece just, just fell on your head. How are you supposed to see that coming? Feels like uh. Spelunky in here. And stuff like Blink and Rick's 
in a level that you can't see. So let's keep swinging your fist out ahead, I guess. Oh, yeah, she made him turn around. Oh, no. What the? Ah! I don't like this guy, he just pulls on your head. Out of seemingly nowhere. Oh, Ankies! I can't uh, even tell what colour it is because the colours keep changing. I it's, think it's red. It's, yeah, it's a red um, square. Yeah. <laughs> red square! I see what they did there. Huh? As in, like, the Russian. Like, uh, the Russian building. Oh, I see, they've got shapes in them as well. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just the colour. Oh, I suppose that makes sense to put a shape in the hole just in case you're cl colour blind or something. That's a good, uh, uh, that's a good uh. thing to put in. Alright, okay, so. The shape of the hole oh, different. don't tell me there's a train. Where? Ah! Trains in the dark. <laughs> yep. Right, they're dead now. Right, Tom very, Thomas. Very... Thomas is. Oh no, that was Henry that got bricked up. Thomas had a headache. <laughs> oh, but... Whoa, there's some tight platforms as well. Just lots of very, very close together platforms. Ah! Ah! This level's giving me the creeps. A lot of jump scares. <laughs> oh, oh, I oh that. yeah, I did. Get it respawn. Oh, up. Oh. Why aren't you docking the split second you land on it? <laughs> there you go. I expect oh. you to know to just immediately duck on it. It's just firefly, isn't it? Oh, finally a checkpoint. Yeah, this level's scary. Scary toy world. I think you can't see what's coming and suddenly something falls on your head. Alright, so I'm gonna need a key. Another key. Be along with me, huh? Alright. Oh. slightly ahead. <laughs> I don't know where to go from that. Ah, oh, there we go. Slippery, slippery Meccano. You know, you should know Meccano has always been known for being slippery. Do you, Annie? Probably somewhere. Yeah! That's it. Good. Good luck, maybe. Maybe just good. <laughs> just good. I'm going to disagree, this level is the opposite of good. <laughs> oh, ouch! This level is. Yeah, I don't suppose, don't suppose you could make me a. Uh, decaf or something? Uh, yeah, decaf coffee. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, it should be enough water. There should be yeah. enough water in the uh, machine. If not, I'll put some more in it. Uh, do you want me to have a mic? Um. It's right. It's somewhere make a lot of noise. Yeah. Alright, I'll call you that. 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 Alright, I'll call you yeah, I love it. Oh, no! The robots! There's a lot of robots. Okay. Forward a little bit. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, yeah. oh, I can't see what to hit. Oh. Oh. 
No, I can't. Eee. Puzzle pieces are just like the pieces that are like missing out of sets, aren't they? <sighs> Where they go to die. Key. Hello, triangle. Go down here, am I? Ouch! Oh, Christ, why? Do all that again, ever not? I Those uh, bird houses have got, got like little creepy eyes, uh, some of them. Like, it's probably where the demon robins are. Right, so, gonna go back through here. And, uh, get past these robots. Alright, oh thank you. Um I think wait Oh yeah, I've got to go back through here actually. Um by the water I suppose. The rain man went Right, it's only a tiny drop of um coffee on my foot. Oh, on your foot, oh. That's alright, don't worry. It's not, it's not like hot. So. Oh, at last. <coughs> Progress. Thank you. 
Oh. Another one of these chestnuts. I wonder if this means I have to get some kind of something a little bit further back. Aha! There we go. Oh, I think a really big rule of thumb in what I ran my own game is just look in every nook and cranny and I mean every nook and cranny right, right so I've got another cage scary. Alright, I think there's an... yeah. Um, I think, yeah, there's another, um, uh, chance to... Somewhere along down that line, it'll be a uh, thingy again. Okay. Oh, fantastic! Thank you. <laughs> be your hard work. Mm. Horrible looking apple. Never come on. It's just down there. Oh, God. Caught under An the, uh, another door. You got caught under the chair. Oh. Might want to just is it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe sit back again, so... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. I'm break. And I bring that artwork we were talking about. Oh, you found it? Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. I really want to get this frame because it's on, like, proper <laughs> paper. Oh, oh. In the corner. Flattened out. Yeah. Get this yeah. out. The light in here is not the best. Hang on. That might be better. A more orange, one of the two. This this webcam's not doing it justice right now, but it's beautiful. Pretty big and all. Bigger than A4. Alright, I'm gonna have Lovely. to. Oh, move. there we go. I'm gonna have to move on, I think. Yeah. Gorgeous. Love it. That's so nice. Ooh, yeah. It's got a signature on it as well. Oh, that... 2015. Oh. A little Rayman face. Do you know who that is? Um, I don't know if that's, um, Michelle sure Wontel's, um, could be. Well, like a little Rayman. Oh, you can see that. A little signature in the corner. With a little Rayman face. Yeah, it might, it might be, his, um, it might oh, be, Oh, if uh... that's on cells, then that's even better. Mm. Well, doesn't matter. Who oh it is. God! Oh God! What is that? You know, I was oh. saying. You know, I was saying about how there was like a a a B and an F face. Um, a B F face. Um, a B like face in, face. <laughs> yeah, in um, 
early like build. in early development. Mm. Uh, and it's got like a cigar and big lips in that. Looks like it's found a way to re-implement it into the game without being as um, mm. questionable, maybe. Mm. Oh, it's some kind of chess mini game. Yeah. Oh wow, you've got to play a game of chess. Oh wow. Oh god. Okay, this is cool. I didn't expect this. Chess game. Oh, this is cool. You have to try and get the white piece. Oh, they don't. They don't get rid of it. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Yeah, so you can't hit his one. You can only hit your one. You have to probably get it over the top of the other one. I presume. Hmm. Like chess. Oh, this is brilliant. Didn't expect this. This is a really unique boss. Hmm. Yeah. Right, King me. Oh. Cigar is in a weirdly weird place. It's like he's got it up his nostril or something. It's like he's. That's not where you put a cigar. You don't put it in your nose. Yeah, it looks like you just have to get it to the other side of the screen, mm. maybe. Things that way. These ones don't charge at you. Try hitting it one more time. Yeah, I think you got to get it to the other side of the screen before he gets his. It only lets you do one per turn by looks of it. Yeah. So you've got to attack the enemies first. Quickly. Oh, God. Oh. If he doesn't kill you before you even get there. Wow, mm. I really found a way to get everything from, like, all the known uh, of content. Yeah, including... In, the one yeah. that I didn't think anyone would even want to, but mm. sort of redesigned it a little bit by the looks of it. Yeah. I'm just a little bit concerned about where that cigar is. It doesn't. It's like it's right under his nose. Hmm. I don't know. The design's confusing me a little bit. Hmm. It's got like a mouth underneath. Like the, the cigar is like. I can't tell if that's his lip under the cigar or another note. Oh, here's his mouth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite a unique boss. Mm. Again, completely original. Just using what is known of assets that were in screenshots in magazines at some point. Yeah! That's kind of like if someone did, which some people have pretty much done, tried to make recreations of what Sonic 1 was originally going to be like. Including fake prototypes, you know? It's like that kind of thing. Oh, well, this one's really having you. Yeah. He's going to charge. He's going to throw it, but he's forward. Put yours forward. Mm. Hmm, I wonder what happens if he gets these to the other side. Does it just immediately kill you? Or... Mm. Oh, just got to be careful with that as well. Yeah. This is a peculiar boss. Mm. Quite unique. Right, it's mechanic. Chess master. Ooh, his voice is spooky. You take the white king and I take the black king. <laughs> to the other side of the board, let's begin. Yeah. I wonder how even the chess pieces have little floaty hands. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I get hit. <laughs> Mm, yeah. I'm just curious what's going to happen if his chest piece gets across before yours. Oh, right, okay, let's try and avoid um, that as well. The mm. hat. Or his bow tie. Oh, it's a bow tie. I was wondering what that part was. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. It's like, he's got like a cigar and then he's got his lip. Yeah. And I then think... the bow tie, yeah. Yeah. It's a I bit thought... weirdly laid out. Mm. Confused me a little bit. Yeah. Oh, ouch. This looks tough. How many worlds do you reckon there are after this? Um, There should be uh, Mr. Dark's there still. There? 
like that, like the last world from the original yeah. game. So yeah, this that's... is the second from last, did you It reckon? should be. Ah, okay. But yeah, this boss is going to be tricky, I guess. Mm. Obviously, being a brand new boss, it's designed to be 16 by 9, so it hasn't got cropped off corners. It's a long time just sitting there like, I'm gonna eventually run at you. Right, so far so good. Coming up. Oh. Yeah, I think you are technically one step ahead of him with the chess pieces. Oh, looks a bit. Let's find these guys. Mm. That bow is the worst thing. Oh, this one's taking loads of hits. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh! Wow. Right. Such a chess master, he plays with one chess piece. <laughs> it's a two dimensional game of chess, we couldn't fit more chess pieces, alright. <laughs> It might be because you're not doing winding up punches, but then you haven't mm. really got the time to do them, have you? No, it does, doesn't seem that way. Oh, I like how the sparkles fly off the tings when you collect them in this. Pretty sure they didn't do that in the original. Mm. Mm, I'm, I'm trying to remember if... Um... If the original version of this character was in a chess field or not, or if it was a casino. Hmm. Yeah, I think it might have been a casino, but yeah. I'll look it up real quick. Oh, we'll be like under um, like old um, advertisements for like the Jaguar version and that. Oh, all right. Oh, that nasty done. Let's have a look. Oh. Get in there. Hmm. It's a SNES version. Okay, now he looks actually normal. As you can see his teeth. Seems like a checkmate. That's not really. <laughs> Get out of here before I challenge you to a rematch. Mm. Here's a key with a star on it. Mm. Let's see if we'll find it. Alright, I think this is the one I've heard a lot of things about. Oh, okay. 
Early production. Master door. Oh, you got the key. You can't be surprised. You shall pass. Let's see if I can spot him. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're doing Rayman Junior now. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh boy. Right. So. Huh. We are literally doing We're... Rayman Junior right now. Yeah. Wow. And maths. Come on, girl. You know your maths. Uh. I nearly thought that uh, was going to say cry, baby. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Unused textures. Yeah, there's that weird gate thing. Mm. That is in this. Oh, what the... The Toon Totem. Yeah. I'm trying to spot this early version of this boss, but mm. I haven't much luck. Rayman 1. I would have thought it would be under early production, but I guess yeah. not. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Are you on the um, Heart Community Wiki or.? Uh, yeah. Hmm, because I should have um, put up a picture of that. Uh... Have a look, early production. Oh, there's that concept art that we've got the frame of, the print yep. of. Yep. That's cool. Mm. Uh, gameplay. Oh, God, maths. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, God. 85 minus 63 plus 75. Bit more advanced than uh, Rayman Jr.'s maths, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, what have we got? Is Rain it? Rain outside again now. It's. Have a look. See if I can find this. Hmm. I forgot there was a DS, mm. DSiWare version of this. <laughs> Wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah, there was, um, and I think the only like feature that game had was, um, it, if I remember right, um, it had uh, a feature with the, um, the DSi camera where, um, mm. if, you, uh, if you go to the photographer and you, um, if you are taking it takes a picture with the um oh takes a picture with the um hmm. Hmm. maybe it's on cut room floor hmm. Oh, at least the wrong answers don't mean like instant death this time. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Cut room four, mm. maybe. Well, I don't think cut room four tends to have scans of stuff. They just have what's in the ROM. Mm. Mm. Mm, not having much luck finding it. Well, it was put up quite recently, so. Hmm. Mm. Trying to figure out this bit of the uh hmm. oh. That's more the fun. So that's one one of the cages.
I see people mentioning it, but I can't find a picture of it. Oh well. Mm. Can't find it off the top of it. Can't find it by simple searching. Mm. It'd be about somewhere on Rayman PC, I'm sure. Yeah. Like on the forum somewhere. Yeah, because it did got it got brought up quite recently. Um. Hmm. Uh, mm. And even though we beat that world, to, uh, beat that boss, mm. because he was just a mid boss. Seems that way. I mean, it was quite simple mm. in concepts, so and maybe more complex. Maybe he returns later. The chess master. He's such a chess master, he plays a game of chess that involves two pieces. And just throws all the other pieces at you. <laughs> like a child that doesn't know how to play chess, mm. just throwing them about and going, I'll win. Mm. Mm. Mm, still trying to find my there. way around this one. Yeah. Maybe you've got to solve the maths. Right, so I just heard um, something spawn again. So like cry, baby. Yeah, I was. Cry, add. Yeah, I, I said that earlier. Yeah. Like, it almost says crybaby, but not quite. Hmm. Yam. Down there. Anything? Oh, oh there Hello. we go. Ah. What you needed. Mm. 12, 14, 16. What's the equation? <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, oh wow. I guess they're the wrong answers then. Because whatever that was. Ah, it was um, 31 oh. 16. Oh, I see. So that would have been, um, that would have been uh, 14. Middle, yeah. yeah, they just, right, well, they just sick an enemies on you if you get it wrong, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Right, well, let's, oh um, 63. Think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> he stumped. He has no idea. Oh, 25. So that'd be 22. Plus 75. Yeah, he is 97. Oh, okay. That's... That's me being, like, stupid. <laughs> I'm definitely a lot weaker at subtraction than, um, addition, it yeah. seems. I just took a mouse full stop. <laughs> or math, you're American, mm. without yes. Never understood why that's the case. Yeah. Americans just like to be different. Nine five seven plus minus. Oh, okay. oh I see. Uh, oh, so you have to go for the lower number. Mm. Oh, wait. What do we need to do here? Mm -hmm. Nine. Which you can't see the answer at the bottom, so. Mm. Minus one. Oh, right. Oh, so there's multiple answers. Oh, I see. So, for example... So, is it 9 um, plus 5, which is um, 14? Well, it would be 9. Well, you walked through minus, didn't you? Which ones did you walk through? You walked through... Oh, maybe it changes based on where you are. So, um, if you go 9 plus 1, um, is there a 10? No. No. But you want to go through the ones that would make one of those answers. Yeah. Nine plus four was that the one at the end? Alright, nine plus. That'd be thirteen. 13. No, no, it's fourteen. 14. Yeah. Uh, I think I think it is a big equation. So nine plus five. I don't think you can go back up, can you? 
minus. No, it's, it's choosing one of the answers oh, below. Oh, I see. Yeah. Nine plus four. A nine plus Wait, five. <laughs> Fourteen minus seven. Seven. <laughs> I'm confused. Um, you sure you don't just walk through them once 11, and then get one of those answers? Like. So mm. five mm. plus five plus four. That'd be eight. Uh, mm. uh, seven. Minus, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Imagine if Rayman Junior was this much mm. trickier. Ooh, right. That's it. I'm convinced you just walk down one lot, mm. but maybe you're right. Maybe you have to jump back up to the minuses. Mm. So it'd be like nine plus four. Hmm. So is it nine plus four equal thirteen? Hmm. What would happen if you went down one of them anyway? You only got one here. Yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> right, so we've got fourteen minus seven. Do seven. And you could try that. Um. What leads to? Oh, that's wrong. Oh, <laughs> so uh, it's the middle one. Just go down the middle one. <laughs> I wonder if that changes based on what you walk down. Probably not. Hmm. Oh, that's so what happens if you just run down the middle now? If it's right or if it changes depending on what you walk down? No, it's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm. Go down the middle one. <laughs> it was there was something clever there, but I couldn't quite suss out what it was. Because I'm thick. Oh, okay. Back back rounds. Oh god. Alright, so it was <laughs> just 14, at it some more. 14, 7. <laughs> the answer is the middle one. Mm. <laughs> and it's like, alright. Oh, the things came down have a time limit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we move on? <laughs> oh, alright. We technically solved it. 84. Four minus eight. That'd be seventy six. Seventy two. Seventy two, yeah. Yep. Oh god, it's trying to force you in the wrong one. There we there go. There we go. Oh, I just got you that anyway. The other one's probably just spawn enemies. God. Ooh. You needed that. Oh. It'll respawn. Yeah, I'm gonna assume these ones just send you to the baddies or something. Yeah. Are we the baddies? Uh, cage nearby? Like yeah. there's a sparkle up there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm yeah, trying to get to that sparkle. I think you need to be big here. Yeah. Oh, I really hope uh, Roman, uh gets well soon. <laughs> hmm. It's pretty... Oh, he will. He's... He looks pretty sick. Alright, oh, there we go. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Alright, right, we can move on now. Bing! <laughs> oh boy. Is water. Oh. You know what that means. Is it water and maths? Yeah, yeah. it's water and maths. And these things. Oh, I like right, these ones. They're like abstract. Oh god, so you got to do it on the. You got to do it quick. Yeah, at least there. Um. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh. <laughs> Do maths will drown. Yeah. This is like my nightmare. <laughs> this is like an actual nightmare mm. I probably had at some point. Like, do maths quick, or you drown. It's like, nope, I'd rather drown. <laughs> right, so. Mm. Why don't you go down the wrong one, and they just block you off. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! This is horrible. Oh, luckily, it was quite short. Right, oh, I forgot for that. I'm glad it didn't go on for ages. Imagine if that was just like a gauntlet. Mm. A gauntlet of maths. You want to do that in the chat? Right, oh, so. I know what we do. Alright, okay, so 10 minus. 10 minus um, 1, 9. 14. Well, oh, so that's 16. got to be sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That just makes enemies spawn. That's fine. That's actually less harsh than Rayman Junior. <laughs> oh yeah. Rayman Junior, if you do the wrong answer, it would just lead you to a bottomless pit or spikes or yeah. something really nasty to just murder Rayman. Oh, oh, there's a flood right. that's following you right now. Mm. It's all bubbling at the bottom, but... Oh, no, I don't know. Right. Right, so that's the... Uh... Oh, wait. I don't know if that's uh, something I've got to do with the uh, basketball. What's that? Oh, what, over there? Mm. Not, not convinced, but... Well, it's pointing, um... Oh, yeah, I've got a cave beam. Oh, there's a cage right down here, about now. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't always work when mm. you do that, does it? That's something to do with the, uh... Oh, there you go. Yeah. With a slight a specific physics yeah. to it. Oh, oh, there we go. Right, okay. Cool. Right, so we want to just get back to that 16. Uh-huh. <sighs> My job involves maths. <laughs> yeah. Not for me, then. My job just does all the maths for you. <laughs> mm. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Before they drown you with mm. maths again. Mm. Oh god, god, what? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This guy's creepy. He's wrong tongue. Oh, he's blowing up the floor. Whoa! This guy completely new. Whoa! Oh, he's actually freaky. Yeah, what is he? Another limbless freak, but the way he spins is... Oh, oh now he's just turned into two. This boss is freaky. Um, now this one's in 4x3, and it's definitely not from the original. That's curious. Mm. Well, I presume it's not. I don't recognise it. Oh, right. Wow, Let's... this guy sucks. <laughs> okay, he just sucks. Mm. That spin move is ridiculous. Mm. Those bombs, spin attacks. Mm. Oh. Kind of looks like he's got a um. Mm. <sighs> Call him. I 
Looks like he's got pepper army hanging out of his mouth. Oh, it does. Rather than a ton. And that one's just got like a green chili in his mouth. Just chomping on it. Just. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this boss is... escalates. Ah! Oof. Oh. This one's rough. Doesn't even get an introduction. Don't even know what his name is. Mm. Just like, I'm here. It's me, Wacky, Wacky Bob. And my twin cut. My twin. Uh. Tobacky Rob. I don't know. Mm. Smacky job. Wacky Bob and Smacky Job. I don't know. I'm making names up for them because they haven't said what their names are. Oh, one of them's down. Oh, one more hit. Yeah! Oh. Playtime is over! <laughs> <laughs> you should have some chocolate to celebrate. <laughs> it's just as sick as you do at the moment. Alright, so... Ah! Okay! Tasty reception. This is a long world, isn't it? Mm. I reckon I saw... Oh no, wait, this is the next world, isn't it? This mm. is the cake world. Yeah, that final world... That final boss of that toy world is a bit strange. It didn't really... It wasn't really themed with the world at all. It was just, oh, we've got this crazy bloke. He throws bombs. No, I'm, That's I him. am going to buy some lives. Yeah, it might be a good idea, actually. Maybe see if there's anything else you can get as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a living stone uh, uh, photo booth. Oh, cute. Alright. Some of the skins you can only get by unlocking them, can't you? Yeah. Rather than buying them. Mm -hmm. They're not all shoppable. Yeah, now, it depends on um, whether yeah, you get the bit. presents as well. Alright, you have that last bit. Alright, thanks. Mark this bit. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to check. Okay, I'm going to mm -hmm. Check what? Just refreshing the chat because maybe the chat. Ah, no. Alright, never mind. Mm. Mm. Like the other day when I was doing Spelunky, the chat just didn't update for ages. And it turned out I just needed to reset the. refresh mm. the browser, but. Mm. Oh, cursor's in the way. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, this level, what this world was in the original game, this was the. Well, it yeah. was technically the last world, wasn't it? Yeah. This world, weirdly. <laughs> Colourful Cake World was the last world mm. in Rayman, for some reason. It's like the new guy. Oh, a little knife and fork. And a little clash. I do like all these little extra sprites that have been put around. Oh, I, oh these clowns are here. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the wasabi... These are wasabi knives as well. Yeah, this one's peculiar. Oh, there he is. I'm oh. alive, I'm alive. Oh, no. It's not think, the same one, but... You think it's the other clown? It's a clown. Same thing. Same difference. No, it's like... It's like... A, it's the bigger clown that's got the hammer. Get on this tiny, mm. very fast, sweet platform. Yeah. This especially makes me think of James Pond's this level. Mm. Cake and penguin bars everywhere. Oh, yeah. A lot of platformers did that kind of thing, though, didn't they? Yeah. As we were saying earlier about Zool, that's literally the first world, was like the candy world. And. Don't even remember what was after that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I, 
Yeah, I remember the Candy World chop chops and that. Yeah, that's all anyone does remember because no one ever got past the first world in that bloody game because it's hard. Mm. That's some pretty good music though. Oh, stock um, cartoon <laughs> chewy <laughs> chomping noises. Oh, hand in the background. Mm. Holding an ice cream cone. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. I'm love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. She's super a day. <laughs> yeah. That's maybe one of my favourite Rayman themes, full stop. <laughs> Just full stop. Mm. Best Rayman character. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Alright, how you get back up to... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a living. Right, these. Um, <laughs> right, I believe these now. guys. Um, these wasabi knives. Some of these, they ended up in the junior, but not in like the final final game. Yeah, because juniors were made years after, so I guess they added some stuff, mm. and then obviously they never got added back into Rayman One, even though they re-released the game, but just a straight re-release. Oh. Sugar. Oops. Ah, so we did there. I suppose it's covered in sugar. Mm. Oh, you've gone back to the uh, lock jaw costume. Yeah. yeah. I've seen in the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the little claw coming out. <laughs> Chain. Mm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh. What have you been eaten by? You've been eaten by themselves. Sit on them and go. A little fun. I thought this world had weird music as well. It's just like ambient noises of like distant parties. Yeah, oh parties yeah. Parties in the distance. Oh yeah, yeah, I had that. Yeah, strange, strange atmosphere to this last world. Very mm. weird way of ending the game. Yeah. Well, at least in the original. I'm not sure about this mm. one yet. End on the, the pretty, colourful, cutesy candy land. Yeah, like the fact that it doesn't have any like chirpy music, it's just got this strange ambience, does give it a bit of a slightly creepy vibe. Okay. Should be. I should have um, spawned something now. Like clown, distant clown cars. Yeah. Right, okay. I've this one and this one's quite all over the place. Three. Clowns and candy. Are you done? Try and move on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh um, one thing about the uh, Jaguar version is that he had um, different level design. Oh, did it? And if I remember right... I wonder if it's going to combine the two. Mm. Like if it's going to have bits from the Jaguar yeah. one and bits from the PlayStation version and stuff. Mm. Like a combination of both. If there's anything in the Jaguar mm. one worth salvaging. Mm. I'm presuming there's probably something worth salvaging. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if, um... Oh, there we go. 
I'm trying to remember if the um, with the dark the dark Rayman was um or bad Rayman. Uh, so his name just bad Rayman. Uh, originally. It's not like evil Rayman or anything like that. It's just bad Rayman. Rayman, but bad. Oh, Andy. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's uh, some of the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that dancing cake. Yeah, that's new. <laughs> you want to eat meat, don't you? Is this music from the Jaguar one, or...? Yeah, it's from the PS1. Oh. For some reason, I always thought this whole world was just that weird distant yeah. sound. Oh, it had that as well. Um... Yeah. Hang on, there's a, that's a good point. Where was the bit of the frying pan? It's coming up. If it's been moved. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these level layouts have been like rearranged just for balance. Yeah. Like maybe some of the bits that, like maybe there's some levels that just started really hard and then got easy and maybe mm. like swapped them around or something. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, like, without looking at them side by side, it's kind of hard to tell what all the changes are, but there are so many, so many changes mm. that it's probably, yeah, you could make a whole, a massive wiki page about all the things that are different, mm. and do, like, side by side let's plays and all, mm. you know, a, a side by side let's play, one of them would end in half the time that this one has been. This game's yeah. like double the length, roughly. It is sort of now, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say this is actually double the size of the original game. Mm. Oh. The original wasn't a slouch, it had plenty going on, but this has got so much extra. Really, like... But it doesn't feel like unnecessary padding, either. Mm. It doesn't feel like... Yeah, nothing in this feels like it's just, like, dragging anything out. To me. Oh no. Like all the level design's been pretty solid for the most part. I can't think of many levels that are a bit of a that seemed dodgy, they all seem pretty good. There's enough variety in the levels as well that it doesn't feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over again in each world. Oh Yeah, yeah there's there's more repeats of ideas that were only seen once or twice in the original, like, oh, obviously the Mosquito ouch. level, there was only one of those. Mm. Now there's quite a few, but yeah. they're usually quite short, they don't outstay right. their welcome. Right, I think now, um, oh, I've got the cages for this level. Bomb gone. I like about that uh, claw as well is it gives you a better idea of where the fist is actually travelling because you can see the, it's technically got an arm yeah. <laughs> when you think about it. Oh! oh. I better not do Oops. that. Oh, do you have a bit of knockback when you hit uh, things? Because uh, I was on a slippery surface. Oh, it was slippery, okay. I thought maybe you had a bit of knockback when you like hit things that don't die immediately. Ooh. Ooh. I still feel like the music land is too early in the game. Mm. Like, I still feel like... Ah! Whoops. Sorry. Mm. I, feel, I don't know why, but I always felt like the, the music land is a bit of a stickling point with this game's layout. Mm. Like, it feels like that world should have been later. Oh! Ooh. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted. Alright, so I'll, yes. I'll, I'll be quiet for a sec uh. while you concentrate. It's a bit speed runny. Right. There we go. Right, gotcha. GG. I just got to try and uh, get through this. Um... It is quite. Um... Oh, I see what you mean there. Yeah. Very, very tiny platforms. Oh god. Even throwing at you, ink. Oh, these platforms are nasty. Uh, yeah. Slippery, that's, tiny. That's kind of why. Death water around them. And enemies on every mm. single one of them that you have to hit more than once. <laughs> right. Mm. I do. <laughs> yeah. 
that's kind of why I, I was Ooh. hoping to. Um... <sighs> Definitely one of the harder worlds. Mm. Straight off the bat, this first area is nasty. A lot going on. Mm. Yeah, I just have to be a bit careful. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh. That's tough. If anyone wants to, uh, if anyone's got any questions or any, think they want to know about anything like yeah. Rayman related or otherwise, like if anyone wants to ask us anything, please do. Yeah. We've got some stuff to talk about. Um... Yeah, what that clown does is um he um if I remember right, if if he stomps on you okay. if he like whacks his hammer on the ground then like he um then you sort of get uh, stopped for a sec. Yeah, it goes. Like, um. Mario Maker that does that. One of the Koopalins, I think. He stomps down and. Oh no, mm. Bowser. Bowser himself does that. Oh boy. That one's way too small. That's. That's half of the problem. Yeah. And slippery, slippery platforms that if you move a few pixels, you're dead. <laughs> oh. oh, that full time. <laughs> yeah, that's another reason to really try and be careful here. Yeah. There is um, there is a speed um fist somewhere here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, yeah it down there. Oh, here, yeah. Oh, I can knock this out of the way. Oh. Oops. Oh. Right, that was the problem. Yeah. Oh boy, it's a pain. This area sucks! Oh! I presume this was in the original. I layout, don't think it. I don't think it was. Oh boy! So this is more challenge. Yeah, mm. this game's rebalanced in ways, but in other ways, it's like right, we're gonna make this area even harder, or we're gonna add a whole area that's just nasty. Mm. Which you know, that's usually the fan game way with most fan games, especially like Sonic Jack fan games and Mario ones. They will make, because they're hardcore fans, they think, well, only hardcore fans are going to play this. Let's make this level as hardcore as we can. <laughs> I feel like this game's doing a little bit of that. Not quite to the same extent as, like, a Kaizo Mario or something, but it's definitely mm. got some of that. If this definitely wasn't in the original, as you say. Mm. Ah! Oof. <sighs> Teeny tiny platforms. Oh, you're on your last life. Oh, I've got two more lives. Oh, yeah. Zero counts. Yeah, it's That's one of those good. games. Yeah. You have one life in reserve, not one life full stop. Happy music. Nightmare of a level out. <laughs> In cat, yeah. Oops. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm going to game over. And I've got the, to start all over. Was this the first area of this level? Or, uh, I, or the think, second? I think it was the second bit. Oh, okay. But it's going to make you go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. But yeah, I've... 
obviously you can't do it on this save file because once you pick it you uh, you have to dedicate yourself to it but like mm. anyone thinking this looks too hard at least there's the casual mode with infinite lives so you don't have to worry about game overing essentially mm. you just uh, keep going out of level yeah like you're not gonna have to end up redoing the beginning of a level mm. in that mode but you do have to pick that at the start of your save file so or you know your save file slot out of the three anyway I wonder if it lets you. I wonder if this will let you save more than the view on the uh, script. Yeah, on the mm. save screen. Yeah. Three isn't a lot, really. Maybe a few more than that. Ugh, oh, that fork. He knows what he's doing as well. That smirk on his face. He's like, now I'm just here in the way, mate. Oof. Mm. Specific knack to this. Mm. Like you have to do a short one rather than a long one. They might be close to it. Yeah. But the closer to you are to it, the less it swings outwards, I think. No, uh. guess not. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> I'm going to have to start from the beginning Banana. of that level. Yeah. 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 Uh, <sighs> right, well. Well, at least here I haven't got to collect or um, find any collectibles now. So. Yeah, you've done the collect. Once you get the collectibles. That's what I really like about this as well is as soon as you get a cage or something, it automatically saves it. Yeah. And, and you, you don't haven't... have to uh, go back for it if you die. You can... You can quit out of the game you can you quit, quit out the, the level. level and it will save it so yeah. if you just need to backtrack to a level and just get one cage or something you can just go get the cage and then immediately exit yeah. the level like a lot of modern platformers do i remember poly roll did that like mm. there was a lot of oh. Whoops. there was a lot of collectibles in that game. <laughs> there's a lot of collectibles in that game and um buying more lives yeah and might not be enough <laughs> Or nine. <laughs> Buy a few more. You haven't lose any tings from a uh, no. game over in Violets of it. No, I hadn't. What well, did it's yours, my friend? I can't believe I was joking about that, and then when I read it, he actually says it. Let's <laughs> <sighs> get back to uh, where we were. Where were we? Ugh. Ugh. Time? It is nine. Right, so I've been here for about two hours now. Yeah, it's about two hours. Ain't too bad. Let's get on to this mm. weather original. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do not think that looks like a Werther's original. Yeah, I suppose, or a specific quality suite, quality street suite. <laughs> or like the toffee penny or something. Yeah, kind of like. Oh, you did oh, that again. <laughs> oh, for fudge's sake! Yeah, we did the fudge level. Uh, Making me hungry, if I'm honest. Hungry you know, for I, fudge. E oh God, yeah. Um. Ooh. Like fresh fudge. Yeah, like, well, there's no such thing as fresh fudge, I suppose, but like, like or hand, handmade, handmade fudge. fudge. Mm -mm -mm. Have you ever tried um, tablet before? What's that? Uh, tablet is like a cross between toffee and fudge. Sounds good to me. And I believe I'm not sure if I have. I think it's oh, I kicked into the same thing. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Don't run into that. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> I believe it's a Scottish thing. Ah, go to Scotland when this is all over and get some. Mm. And short. <laughs> I have to go all the way there to get it. Well, um, it's exclusively. Uh, get some short. Go back this way. Get some shortbread. You know, even when you can get shortbread anywhere in the country. Oh, so I suppose you can want to go down here just to yeah. get all those tings. Buy more lives later. 
well, not so much that, but um. Oh, oh god! No oh, way! Um, clowns. Free eyes? No <laughs> oh, way! Free eyes? It's, it's like a monocle. Yeah, that's why I was saying free eyes, <laughs> not four. <laughs> Right, I've had the, uh, but I'm not going to need um, to go over that way. No, nah, uh, that's where the age was, right? I think they just give you tings when uh get them again. Yeah, tablet. Not not only is the tablet nice, um, there's also, okay. Um, there used to be um, a shop in uh, where I used to live that um, uh, sold a handmade fudge. Mm. And um, they used to put out like samples. Ooh, nice. And one of them was um, Vimto flavour. Oh god. And it nice. actually did taste like Vimto. Oh god. It was very just nice. injected Vimto into it. Alright. Yeah, I did need to go all the way over there. Ah, uh, I was gonna say. Oh, this world is nasty. A bit more methodical than the, uh, it's a bit slower paced than the music land. The music land's a lot of like sliding around on slopes and stuff. But this is a bit more methodical. It's really pinpoint accuracy from you. Mm. Oh boy. Oh. oh! What happened? Oh! I've got to go all the way back down this way for him. Um... Oh dear. I like to spawn that uh, candy. Ah. Oh yeah, you have to come over here to make it. Yeah. Yeah, to make it spawn. Ugh. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, William Tell. Oh, well, that just looks frustrating. Mm. Like the original was bad enough. Yeah, this is even harder by the looks of it. At least there's cute little uh, knives, knives and forks. Not those forks, they're not cute, they're horrible. A dirty look on their face as well. Rip on it from that side. Oh, oh what? That's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. Mm. I just grip on that from there. I was. Trouble with it is with the um. I guess you have to be facing the Yeah, there's way. like a um, yeah. That's usually the case. Uh, I can just like jump up and grab it. You have to jump up and grab yeah. it from the other side. I get you. <sighs> hmm, nine, people, nine people watching now. Hmm. Not very chatty tonight, but we have got nine people watching tonight. I'll be doing things in the background. Yeah, maybe. Doing the dishes, like I need to do at some point. I'd say you have to jump here, grab it there, and then. Huh? Huh? Mm. I understand how you're supposed to do this. You did it before. Yeah, it. There yeah, we go. That's it. So you can oh, get it from that I don't, know why, I don't know why I was having such trouble with that, but. Mm. Did that make something spawn? It did. Up yeah. there. Yeah, there's a lot of like going up and down all around in these yeah. levels. Up and down and all around. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm dying. You know, they sometimes take loads of hits, and other times they only take a couple. Oh, it's something to do with um 
whether or not you've got the golden fist oh, and of course. the speed. Oh, yeah, of course, you've got those now, haven't you? You've got yellow gloves on. Well, uh, gold fists. Yeah, of course. This blooming hell level. Ooh, it's ten pixel platforms. Barely ten pixels. Such tiny platforms and all moving really quickly. Yeah, it's got little hairdos. They kind of do. Even your um, floor goes entirely golden. Why well, you got golden gloves? That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah, really cool touch. Good oh boy. Mm. Oh, at, least you got oh, to the at least you got the checkpoint. Yeah. Back to this nightmare section. having the golden gloves make these guys a bit quicker. Oh well I've lost was, that now. Was there one was that a golden glove by the after this running bit? It's a speed one. Oh it's not a golden glove bum. Mm. Golden glove would have been nice there. Take the guys out with much less hits. Mm. Got there with only one hit point so I suppose that was Oh yeah, that's what you mean, speed, yeah. especially a bit faster. If anything, I wonder if that's a detriment to this area. And yeah. It's making this bit a little bit harder, maybe. Because you can't quite balance on the platforms. Uh, Jesus. Mm. Such an awful. Such tiny platforms. Let's put one or two in between them. Yeah. There we go. Right, so. Now, is this bit of forks? Let's prick you without. Like, prick, ruining. prick with a fork. Yeah. Quite understand how you just to swing over that. Oof, <laughs> I'll wait till the other O's close, I guess. Mm. Time it so when it's close, you can swing straight over to it without getting hit by mm. a fork. Yeesh. Definitely seems to want you to run it. Mm, or do. Gun it. Do one of them. Mm. That fork is just right in the way. Back in here. Smirk on his face, like, eh, eh. Come jump over me, mate. Mate, so it looks like I could get that one down there. Yeah. Hang out there. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. Oh. It's 11 people, 11, 10 people watching? Oh, one of them is me. <laughs> Luke's um, dad found a Sinclair ZX81 ah. in his uh, study room. Mm. That's cool. I don't know if he's got any uh, component, like the mm. ability to run it. Mm. Luke thought it was maybe some kind of mini mm. recreation of it, but no, they always were mm. quite small Sinclairs. 
kind of the whole point of a pure definition of a microcomputer. They were actually quite small. Not that I was, not that I was um, old enough to actually remember them things. Oh, this is an actual nightmare. This, this fork is the worst thing in this game right now. He's just right in the way. You swing, you just end up swinging into him. Oof, there must be some specific knack to how you swing over him. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, do you remember the, when there was a natural pack of sausages? I think there were Jamie Oliver ones. <laughs> and they were they actually did say prick with a fork. <laughs> yeah, the word <sighs> prick with a fork in that context is allowed to be said. No, it's just the fact that it was a Jamie, it's Jamie Oliver. <laughs> oh yeah, prick with a fork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you. Yeah. But, like, how unfortunate. Mm. Oops. Oh. Clever mm. nasty. Super nasty, like. Mm. I think this isn't gonna be a, a roadblock. Mm. Feels that way. At the moment. There's gotta be a technique to getting over that fork without it hitting you. There's got to be some way of doing that. I'm still curious if it's worth trying it without the speed, just in case it makes this bit easier. Mm. Yeah, so you don't just slip off it. Not quite so easy. Yeah. Never I learnt from this game though, because none of the other Rayman games after this were anywhere near this hard. Um, well... Well, they didn't feel like it anyway. Especially the ones that had infinite life, you know. Rayman Origins and Legends did get tricky in spots, but at least you had infinite lives. I mean, technically you can in this, but... I need to start from scratch. Mm. One more hit. <laughs> You're right, we could just mm. like have enough hit points when you get to the forks to just like sort of cheese your way past uh, oh, for it. Oh, for fudge sake. An absolute fudge packer. You could say he's a triple fudge packer. Yeah. That fork. Mm. Oh, he packs the oh fudge. yeah, that one certainly is. Triple fudge packer. This guy's maybe the worst out of the lot. He's projectile. Oh, this guy has a lot of hits. I think they really want you to get through here with that power glove, don't they? Like the golden glove. He's just out of reach. Like normal means. He's like the best thing to do, you just jump over him. Mm. Get him later. Hmm. Is there any way to do like a short swing? But it's not as long. Maybe you've got to jump just before. I mean, you've been trying that, but. Uh, if there was only a way you could just take the hit and then. Mm. There must be something there. <sighs> Don't know what it is. Uh, yay, I can go back for more torture! Yay! Mm. I'll go get pricked by the fork some more! <laughs> I could just go home and have a bath, but I, I must I must continue to get pricked by the fork. Ugh. 
There's certain things in Rayman that are spiky, but certain parts of them are not spiky, but you yeah. still get hurt by them, which always annoyed me. Like those music notes in the music bands, they've got like spiky tops, but if you touch them from the bottom, which is just mm. perfectly round and smooth and not spiky, you still get hurt by them. Mm. <laughs> Late game Rayman woes, says Shelf Gamer. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely the last, like, oh. It, I don't know about this version, but this was definitely the last world in, uh. In the original. In the original. And as far as we can tell, this level design is even harder than it was in the original, so. It's got that going for it. Ah! <gasps> I should not. I, sh I really should don't just run not there. run. Just don't run there. You end up running into the. To the water Into or the pit, lemonade. The pit of lemonade. I don't like. I like lemonade, but I don't like it that much. Yeah, as far as we know, that particular layout with the mm. tiny platforms might have not been in the original game. I don't. I mean, think I would have so. think you'd remember it. <laughs> think you'd remember that if it was. Hmm. I think what you really want to do is try and make sure you get the, uh, mm. level. You want to try and keep the, uh, gold gloves up to that point if you can. Yeah, well that's what I'm aiming for, aiming for it anyway. show you the end of the game tonight but <laughs> yeah Ooh, the way things are going it's gonna take some time we've only been streaming two and a half hours it's not like we've been depends how much energy you got for it i'm fine with doing mm. a part four if we have to but yeah same here i'm, I'm not yep. against the idea so again it'll be a matter of what happens when we have to get back to work yeah, but that's not going to be for like another week or so. Uh. When I say we do, a f if we do a full one, I'm not saying weeks yeah. from now. I'm saying yeah. like days from now. Yeah. So that's not a problem. I don't know. Sometimes we're going to have days where we can stream even when we are working. I mean, that's how we did these streams before the lockdown. We just didn't do them as frequently. We didn't do them like multiple times a week. Yeah, I mean, I remember um, coming back home from work and still joining in on uh, one of the streams you were doing. Yeah, when I had a day off. I always like to have, like, if they give me two days off, for example, in a row, mm. or I swap a shift or something, I like to have, mm. if I'm going to do a stream, I like to have the day off afterwards. Yeah. Just in case I'm up late. Mm. And if I had work in like the morning or something, that would mm. suck. And it's getting a bit crampy. Oh, uh, like um. Oh. Yeah, they are getting a bit sore. Mm hmm. He's, it's like he's crying. He's like wincing oh. in pain, like. Argh. First of all, he was like giving you a sly wink, like. Mm, I want to help you, but get your hands I... all over me. Mm. Wink. Mm. Yeah, first of all, he was just giving you a sly wink. Oh, these platforms. Mm. They're tiny. They move fast. They're hard to. You can't grab grip onto them. Acquire some pinpoint accuracy. Got 100% accurate, so I think it's gonna poke in the eye. Mm. Everything's made of spikes. Not made of cake, it's made of spiky metal. Mm. Alright, I think. Mm. Alright, we're back to where. Uh... 
Now oh, back to the fun bit. Alright. What are you doing? Uh, seeing if I could um, spawn something. But... Oh. You have to run through, didn't you? You only lose that glove if you die. Uh, yes. Right. And then you have to get a new one uh, somewhere. Yeah, there isn't any in this area yet. I'll just see how far you can get through this section. Ah! No! I really wanted to actually use it there. I mean, I mean, that bit's passable. I mean it is, but it would have been a lot more part, much easier with that. Mm. It's mainly the speed water. one. It's speed one's more important, actually. Mm, yeah, I suppose. The way you're not collecting it. This guy sucks. That also sucks. He, well, he, he sucks, but he doesn't suck as much. No, he's not throwing projectiles at you at all times. This guy seems best to just run over and then hit him from behind. Yeah. Ah, that's his fault. There must be some way you can jump that just before. Maybe immediately jump and, hmm. hmm, like, swing the opposite direction or something. If that's even doable. Oh, uh, I almost, almost. It looked some. like you kind of almost went over it, kind of. Mm. There's got to be a specific knack to it. Mm, yeah. If there's any Rayman experts in the chat, let us know. Or, you know, people that have played this at this point, because, yeah. All right. Mm. Sucks. Mm. Oh, I don't know how you're supposed to get past him without taking a couple of hits. This guy you can take out easily enough. I would have... Ah! Oh. <sighs> Oof. I think I've got the knack for uh, that bit now. Yeah, that's well enough. We don't. Yeah. Daddy just sits there. After that, he's just like, oh, I'm done. I failed in my mission. This guy. It's the one that takes all your hit points. There we go. That's what you want. You want enough hit points that you can just sort of cheese past the fork if you can. Man, this area sucks. It does. Oh, I'm not saying it's badly designed, it's just it's just hard. Mm. I wouldn't have put in tiny platforms though. I would have made them at least twice the length by each. So you've got a little bit of leeway. I would have maybe moved that fork a few pixels downwards. <laughs> just shifted the fork a couple pixels downwards, mm. not even a lot downwards, just a mm. few pixels. So it doesn't chip you every time you swing near it. There we go. Can't do this with that now. He's trying to throw ink at you while you're there. He can't get you, but he's trying. Right. Hey there, Mr. T. Yep, the platforms are tiny. They're very tiny. Mm. We're right near the end of the game. And it's getting nasty. It's getting... This is where the game's reputation for being hard as balls came from. Yeah. I think levels like right. this and all this one wasn't in the original. Oh, I think I think I've almost 
You've got something. Yeah, just... Ah. Oh. That's mm. kind of bloody fork. Mm. It's just ever so slightly too high. I mean, these ones you can jump over easy. I think you got to yeah. go... I think you need to get through it fast somehow. Maybe do a running mm. start and then swing. If mm. that's doable. I kind of want you to go a bit fast, mm. I think. Oh, that was so... Mm. Oh, Slightly so... to the right, yeah, uh... either a few pixels down or a few pixels to the right mm. would have made that so much less cheap feeling. Mm. It feels like you're not even touching the tips of it, you're just touching the side of it and that counts as getting poked by it. Mm. We've had several game overs on this bit. Oh. Our lives are just getting drained by this mm. section. And there's a whole section before this we have to keep redoing as well. Mm. Yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm My not... advice to anyone who hasn't played this game yet, play casual mode. <laughs> Unless you like this kind of challenge, play casual mode. So at least it's, a, it's the exact same game, you mm. just get infinite lives, so you're not game over enough at any point. Unless you decide to quit the level, I suppose, and go somewhere else. You could do that if you wanted to break from this area, find something else to do. Mm. Maybe. Just take your mind off it for a sec and come back to mm. it and refresh. See if you can run off this last one. That's it. There, yeah, right. that's it. Yeah, it was running. Mm. Oh, you. That's it, though. That's what uh. you got to do. You got to run on that last uh, crunchy thing, punch thing. Mm. <laughs> oh, the nougat. Yeah, the little nougat thing. You have to run off mm. it. That makes sense now. I thought that mm. might be the case because you've been running off them ones mm. just by nature of having to run. Mm. So, I guess that checks out. Should have thought of that in the first place, but makes sense now. Oh, for fast. fudge sake! <laughs> I love that this level is full of fudge. Yeah. It just gives us an excuse. Let's right, just, let's I just think. Start again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> this is easily the worst thing we've seen in this game so far. <laughs> right. And isn't this technically the first level? This. It's the first part of um. Yeah, it's the first day. part. Yeah, it's the first part oh, of the cake I'm world. Scared. You get some more lives. Yeah, I don't think ten's enough. You can buy seven more. Get in things too. I stuck. Oh yeah, you can only buy. You can buy those two one at a time. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Is that if they had to draw that little uh, castle there? He sort of had, to yeah. The map had that additional world. Yeah, I think you got it this time because we know what to do now. But run off that new bit. And just kind of rush through it, I guess. Like the faster you go, it mm. seems quite a momentum thing. Lovely textures. Technically, I don't think icing on a cake is going to be slippery like that. Oh, it can, it can be. I suppose. Mind you, I've never ran on top of, walked on a massive load of icing and sugar, so I guess I wouldn't know. Hmm. 
actually like these dancing cakes. Mm. Swaying their hips. Cakey hips. Oh. Soundtrack to this level is like if you're trying to sleep at night and someone's just mm. having a random party. Oh yeah. Like, not anywhere near your house, just like a few like streets up. You mm. just hear it in the distance. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of like New Year's party or something, but it's not New Year's. <laughs> Strange backtracking. Oh, in this maybe we should just have fireworks. Um... It's got a checkpoint. And a couple of the speed and yeah. Oh. Uh yep. Okay. Just loading them guys in. I've noticed that this game does that a few times, especially when you beat the bosses sometimes it pauses a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I almost feel like the claw is actually better the best costume to have just because that it gives you like a sort of indicator of um where your arms move in. Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel a little bit more castle rainy now, I guess? Mm. Kinda. Of. Mm. Oh hi there, Hunchman. Hello. <laughs> you say nice going guys. I made it I made some progress too, but I play in casual mode. Oh Yeah, you're cop. probably you're probably regretting mm. picking this mode, aren't you? Oh, I don't know. I mean the only thing is like once you pick one you and play the whole game that way, you, you can't like I think it's per se file, you can't like change it on the fly. Yeah. I which I I can understand because it would kind of break it. Like if you could just change it to casual when there's a level you don't want to mm. keep going over in on, like this yeah. one. <laughs> oh, nice, to see, nice to see you, Hunchman. It's been a while. <laughs> well, for me it has, anyway. Mm. I assume you've still been in contact with Um, yeah. Well, he used the, uh, ad he used the founder of Pirate Community, so... Yeah. Yeah, I was, um, I was having a mooch around trying to find where that, uh... Oh, where that, uh, that boss was, like the original version of that uh, chess master. Uh, which I'm pretty sure is based on something that got cut out. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely. I had the I had this neck. It's been too long since I played the original. Mm. Felt I would enjoy it the same anyway. So far, I do. Mm. Yeah. What's good about this is if. Whether you've played it recently or not, it just feels instantly familiar because it controls exactly like the original, but you've got like the benefit of more screen space with the 16x9 so you can see what's ahead of you a bit better. <laughs> oh. Mr. T, I already beat the original Rayman on PS1 so I've already proven myself. I will gladly play Redemption on casual mode. <laughs> yeah, I suppose if you have beaten the original as is, then yeah, this game is like twice the length flow, I'm going to say, there's so much extra content, I, I'm going to say it's roughly twice the length. Oh. This bit, for some reason, is, is nasty, it's, it's another momentum thing. Yeah, yeah, there that's we it. Go. Begin with the momentum. Yeah, because I had this problem before with... Um... Okay, well. Yeah, I have to go back here. Yeah. I always found it strange that this is the last world. Like, it looks so unassuming and friendly. Well, yeah. mostly friendly, except for the cloudy skies. And a slightly ominous, uh, distant party. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> You're still there, like... I'm in love. I'm in love. Just kind of strutting over, like... <laughs> oh. oh yes, it's the Yeah, I still don't know where the frying pan bit is. 
Oh, I guess that's coming up. Maybe it's been put later. Everything's been remixed in such subtle ways that even if you're a bit of a Rayman set, it's hard to remember exactly what's up here changed or you know where mm. things have been moved. I'm amazed at how the controls feel the same. True that. One person on the forum mentioned the super helicopter being a bit different though. Now I think about it, I did struggle a bit with it. Uh, oh, the so super we, Yeah, we we did as well. Uh, first okay. time round. Yeah, maybe that's been adjusted slightly. That's the one that lets you go upwards, right? Oh uh, yeah, when you drink the potion. That's it, yeah. I mean, the game's been patched, what, three times as well? Yeah. So I don't know if any of that stuff's been fixed anyway. I don't really know what the patch notes are. But it's on version 1.0.4 now, so yeah, it has I been patched a few times. It's mainly like minor bug fixes that have been reported. Yeah, that makes sense. They're the most important thing to sort out. Uh, Especially if it's like crashing people's computers or uh, whatever. Yeah. Which, we haven't had anything like that. Yeah, it's kind of shocking just how one-to-one -one this feels. Like, it's not easy to recreate a game like this without using, like, the source. And, well, know, actually, I don't need to it... do that. Oh, you don't need... oh, yeah, you don't need that speed. Yeah. You've got speed. Mm. Oh, close. Oh, we're getting back to the fork. Back to it. Uh... We're we'll gonna call him Jamie Oliver from now on because he's a <laughs> he's a prick and a fork. He's a fork that pricks you very frequently. Right, run off the last one. There we go. Oh no. Mm. Get a bit of running. Oh. oh. Okay. It's definitely it definitely involved running, but yeah, I guess it's definitely momentum. Yeah, it's very momentum. Oops. Oh, oh, and I just missed. Yeah, as as I can tell, this area wasn't in the original. Yeah, this I'm guessing this is why they put the uh, speed this here. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that tells you it's a fan game. <laughs> it wouldn't be a fan game without, uh, hey, we know you're hardcore fans, here's a hardcore level oh. for you. You can do it. Mm. Yeah. Don't oh. worry about the chat, I'll read chat. Yeah, alright. That's my responsibility. I'll just read out stuff. Alright, okay. Don't like him. Alright, right, so it, Can it's... you run off the second one as well? Yeah. That's it, that's it. And, oh, right. I've just got to uh, keep that momentum going, like keep the speed going. Mm. You can. That's it. Yeah, run, run, jump, spin, jump over those seems to work. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Yes! At, at fudging last! Yeah, triple oh. fudge packers. Yes! Right. Okay. Oh, oh what next? Oh! Oh, it's in. Dark Toon. Alright, Toon. Chaos Heads. How do you just keep... <laughs> How do you keep coming back, you limbless loser? You're limbless too! Yeah. <laughs> you have no legs or arms. Oh! Oh, there he is. There's Mr. Gosp! Mr. Duck! Finally made it to my domain. Cake uh, land. Okay, I can explore. I can explore. Oh dear. He's gonna, he's gonna do a Vegeta on him. <laughs> Oh god. He's <laughs> almost strong as a conqueror, but even managed to activate all the. What? The Toon Totems. Oh yeah. <gasps> it's here, in my domain. My domain. 
yummy cake land. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure this is a reference to um, the Ray Bradbury novel. Um, something wicked this way it comes. Uh huh. Though, I could be wrong though. There's Mrs. Potts in the that in the background. Defeated all my minions, but here's some more of them anyway. Right. When I said all my minions, I meant all types of minions, mm. not literally every minion. Okay, there's got to be some kind of. Oh, checkpoint. Mm. Oh, so glad we got past that fork. Oh, yeah, we got past Jamie Oliver. Yeah. yeah, I like how Mr. Dark's like domain is just like this sugar coated friggin' candy land. It doesn't make a lot of mm. sense. I'm the mm. dark. You will find me oh. lurking in the shadows amongst the bat the uh Oh Batman's. yeah, that was it. Um, the uh, antagonist in Something Wicked This Way Comes, as in the Ray Bradbury novel, is called Mr. Dark. Uh. <laughs> and I think, you know, if I remember right, it did involve like oh. um, circuses and stuff. So yeah. Or like um, mm. a freak, or like freak show. <laughs> uh. Oh, hello. I'm guarding this. I'm guarding this. Mm. I'm not sure why he hired clowns, but you know, it's... Mr. Dark also lives mm. in a cake land, so who knows? Mm. It's been it's been a short while since I last since I read the that novel. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rayman as in Ray Bradbury. <laughs> Yeah, you could say that as well. Hey, we needed that. All of those the merrier. Mm. Right now. Right, so there is another um, magician. Ah, that's token, in the next area. I like how the the cherries have been recolored to make them more like blueberries now. Ah, oh, were they not like that before? Ah, uh, no, it was just cherries. Ah. Mind mm. <laughs> That's a distant party. Ain't no party like a distant party. Hey. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we can see it. Oh! Whoops. Right, well, at least I got that cage now so I can yeah. just go straight down there. Yeah. Spikes. With spikes. Things with spikes on. Next to the other things with spikes on. Ooh, just variants of spiky items. No, that's Swiss Army knives. Swiss Army knives. Spiky, whatever they are on the walls. Flickery platforms. Instant death. Custard or whatever. I think that looks more like uh, some kind of lemonade. Yeah. Death by lemonade. Right, checkpoint. Come sure on. Web comic or something called that. Mm. Death by lemonade. Something. Oh god. Oh, is there anything down there? Oh, that's where that was, isn't it? Yeah. We'll try not to pull in that bit. Oh, that did. I appeared. Oh. oh! Well, at least I'm near um, um. Where you were, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, nice. Alright, the pit's down there, careful. Oh, yeah. Where this green lemonade is? Could be limeade. Limeade. Slush puppy, nice. Yeah, like, like 
lime flavoured uh Oh, I'm, I'm a slush puppy. Yeah. There used to be um, a shop. Uh, it was like a card shop um, where I used to live. Um, mm. And we always used to get um, slushes from the slush machine there. There is a uh, news, agent, news agent down our high street that's got uh, oh, yeah. some form of slush. Yeah, one, of, one here. Yeah. Um, I've, I haven't asked for it, but I've no. been in it. Yeah. Coco Chambers. Uh, oh. New. oh, thank God for that. Oh, I... we got out of Jamie Oliver's level. And I golded it, so. Oh, I yeah, golded it. Oh, again. hello. Oh, I know, it's nice to be clowns. I could trade my sausage truck for this ice cream machine. But the thing is busted. I can't believe what scam like that. Should have. Should have. Uh, should have subscribed to Kit Bogo, he would have told you all about it. <laughs> and then you would have been alright. Oh, what is all this? What is going on? Is this some kind of race? Hang on, do you have to hit the... Wow, you actually got it working. Oh. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's like ice, little ice cream's coming oh, out of it. Oh, they're well cute. Hmm. Oh, I want one. Little teeny weeny one. You can take my... Oh, there's the sausage... Oh, huh? the frying pan. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, I see. It's been changed. It's been given like a more emphasis with plot this time. There's plot reasons for this frying pan. Yeah, this bit's pretty cool, but also hard. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, okay. Oh. Alright, seems like I've... Oh, seems like I've missed... Um... <laughs> Rolling around. I was thinking more ice cap, but that works too. In fact, that works better. <laughs> oh, this is jellies. Oh. No place to go but to follow my sausages. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it seems like I've missed a cage, but... Ah, uh, well. Like I say, I want to focus on getting... Things... The plot done. Yeah. I want to see how this Mr... Dark goes now because apparently yeah, that's one yeah. of the big changes. Got little boost pads. Yeah, those little arrows are boost pads. Boost pad. Hmm. Oh, there's uh, some oh. of those. Uh... Mm. Risky, but you got loads of lives. Mm. Hover down there? Mm, no. Guess mm. not. <laughs> Maybe you have to stay on the pan when you're. Mm. You can't go back to that maybe. one, but like on this pan, maybe hmm. stay on it as it's falling and then jump off into the springs. That'd be my guess. No. Oh, I wish we could jump on things' heads. It's so much easier. Slower there. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Oh, maybe not. Mm. Mm. Okay, it didn't work how I thought it would. Hmm. Must be some way. Hmm. Oh, no. oh well. Oh. I'll come back to that. So I've got a bit of a sore thumb. Yeah. Playing for three hours. Clown music. Anyone would think it was a clown land. I mean, it is, but you know. Look at this background music. Oh, unless it's a beta version of it. Oh! Ah, what? Are these slippery 10 pixel wide platforms? That's turned into proper annoying circus music now. Mm. Well, oh, it's a super Oh, it's super. Oh, hell. speaking of super helicopter, here it is, and keys. Yeah. Yes. Oh, right. Just can't go through that way. Let's go round. All these little caramel sticks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that all like 
Crunchy, crunchies. Right, we've got um, thingy in them. Oh, what, like honeycomb bars? Yeah, like honeycomb bars. Stop making me hungry, Rayman. We just had we just some had chocolate. some chocolate, but making me want fudge. Yeah, especially that Vinto fudge. Not for me. <laughs> just regular fudge for me, please. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, that's it. Peanut oh, butter. Oh, right, yeah. I don't think I've ever had that. Wow. Have you ever, have you ever had them, peanut butter? Oh, pizza. Um, I think so. Because I suppose. I I suppose um, oh, have I, oh, did I open that door or not? You haven't got the key, have you? Oh, the key's around the other side. Well, it's sort of the way you it were was, going, but it was, yeah. a bit of a labyrinth. Is it honeycomb? Oh, did I? I'm gonna say it's honeycomb because I prefer Oh honeycomb. no, because there wasn't um. Wasn't I couldn't, I get couldn't get actually get to it. Nah, I think you have to get to it around the other side, like from this way. That cheese. Oh, so glad we got past. Jamie Oliver. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? Mm. There we go. Run away, clown. Such a clown. Yeah. There we go. I'm craving some candy. <laughs> mm. Yeah. As long as the candy isn't like covered in spiky bits, you'll be alright. One well, that would be bad for your teeth. I mean, it's bad for your teeth anyway, but like, worse for your teeth if it's spiky. Like all this lot is. And if it's got eyeballs on it, I just wouldn't have it because I'd be a bit worried what's in that. Get mm. the ingredients and it's just like eyeballs. It's like, what? Mm. <laughs> Why is there eyeballs in my chocolate? Oh uh, yeah. This is definitely not vegetarian. Oh, I can't. Oh, you got two keys. Ah. Uh. You had two keys. Oh. I just go back to the weekly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh. That way. Oh, look at this. Rayman soon. <laughs> Magazine. Pull out the poster inside. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud. Ah. <sighs> It was going to be like a um It was meant to be like a full PowerPoint. Yeah, there it is. Hmm? Rayman was born from the sketch series of sketches by the then unknown French graphic designer Michel Ancel. Who had a strange passion for Chinese, Russian, and Celtic fairy tales, which clearly had a very strange effect on his thought processes. <laughs> what? Um, that's a, that's a, I would have thought that'd be. Um, I would have thought that'd include stuff like Robin Hood and Break and like. Uh, Asterix. Uh, Asterix and um, whatever inspired Braveheart. If I, uh, I guess so. Yeah. You know, like uh, like the Wayne, like no the. Wallace um, and all that. Hmm. Wallace of Scotland. Hmm. Like that kind of thing. Let's just be, try and be a bit more careful here. The guy with a Rayman tattoo in here. Oh yeah, that was one of the first, uh, that's one of the first ones I knew about. 
Yeah. So that's Rayman tattoos. got the Saturn magazine back here that has the early screen as the screenshots that I remember seeing of 2D Rayman 2. I have that issue over oh. here no, I just don't know my cough is sick. Oh. I'll find that. I, I have to go all the way back just to get that bloody um You definitely bloody... need that key. You do. Uh, I think after the checkpoint it just give you you'd that have, key but you'd have them but Apparently. It doesn't seem like it. Hmm, that's, um, that's a curious choice. Hmm. Hmm. Right, well what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back for that um, key point. Yeah, that does suck. Hello Bartman. Hey, hello. Are we going to do the Bartman? Oh, what's like extreme? Kind of a balance. It's kind of a mix of. It's kind of a mix. Like some of the harder stuff from the original game is rebalanced and made a bit fairer. But then there's additional levels that are like much harder than anything in the original. So it's a bit of a mix in that respect. Oh. Yeah, there's a uh, 2D Rayman 2 in the official Saturn mag. It's probably scanned on Rayman PC and that, but. It or like, or scan, or some other scanners. Yeah. When Iron <gasps> Man was released almost a year ago, there wasn't much in the way of platform games available for the Saturn. In fact, there still isn't. Rayman still received a rather stern reception from the pr games press, probably because despite looking the part, the gameplay remained distinctively 16-bit. Oh, everything's, everything's got to be the future now. Everything's got to be wonky 15 frames per second 3D. <laughs> Much more use oh. of made 3D than. I'm going to have to start over. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, some more lives, I think. So this was planned to come out in autumn of every year. This was 96. Wow, only a year after this one. 
Hmm. Expect to see a preview next month. Uh, I don't think they ever did a preview the next month. Yeah. Use different enemies. Now, most of the uh, enemies, they're um. I want to say they wandered up in Tonic Trouble. Yeah, they kind of look Tonic Trouble e. They kind of look like Tonic Trouble characters, honestly. Oh, did you ever get to try running and pressing the um, thing at the same time? Oh, what the? <laughs> um. When you get place to do so. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, ended up missing that cave again. I'd, yeah, I'd say, yeah, there are elements of this that are definitely smoother than they were in the original game, but at the same time, it's a fan game, so it has fan game caliber levels. And I don't mean that in a bad night, I mean that in a, hey, this is for hardcore fans, so let's make the levels hardcore. Let's make these extra levels even harder because. Most of the people that are going to be playing this already know Rayman Inside Out, so they should be able to do them fine. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, that's the that's the theory, anyway. Right, let's back down the cage. Oh, that was a really early preview of a. Uh... Right, that's a really early version of um, Speed Racer in here. That looks nothing like how it actually came out. Got nowhere near all the effects. Oh, yeah, what world? I don't think that came out. Yeah, no, that didn't actually come out. Huh. It came out on the Virtual Boy, but it didn't come out on the Saturn. Alright, oh, back to the... Uh... Right, back to the BS. <laughs> BS land. Oh, so it's, uh, it's for the Satella for you then. It's a BS version. Oh, Key of Flying Squadron. Oh, I'd love doing that. I'm just flicking through a Saturn map now. Why not? Yeah. I don't remember what their review for Rayman was like. Um, I know. Not great, because they were like, oh, it's too 16 bit. Yeah. It's like it... a Mega Drive game. It's like, it's really not. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of the old, a lot of the press um, back then thought um, it was a bit old-fashioned for the time. I want to know if anyone actually ever won this. Cause this this ad was always in these things. Just get, win the gaming, win the ultimate gaming rig, and it's like a giant CRT, a huge stereo setup, a Virtual Boy, a PlayStation, a 3DO, Jaguar, Saturn. They all appear to be American boxes. It's curious. I want to know if anyone actually won this ever. We're talking game in heaven. Yeah, you get to have a 3DO. <laughs> I mean, they were worth a lot of money, but they didn't have much to worth playing on them. Except like the best version of Street Fighter 2, I suppose. Oh no, I just looped back round. <laughs> not even sure if they reviewed Rayman in the Saturn mag. It might have been in the official Sega mag before they transferred it to uh, that. Oh wow, they even got reviews for video CDs in here. Brilliant. <laughs> How much was Rayman at the time, according to gameplay? Hmm? Yeah, the little adverts for gameplay at the back. How much was Rayman to purchase at this point in time in 96? Mm. Let's have a look. Do we have it? Oh, there we go. £36.99. I held its money better than some of these, then. It was annoying me when they put... Call. 
for the price. It's just like, oh, I want to know how much Legend of Four or Night Warriors is. And it's like cool pounds. It's like, why do you have to call to find out what the price is? Just print the price. Our wow, Saturns were definitely more expensive than PlayStations. Not by a lot. About, mm, well, about 50 quid. Which sounds about right, actually. At the time. Mm. This is the kind of thing I should be doing on a Saturn stream. Uh, I'd like to see if I've got the issue with or some Saturn mags with old Rayman reviews in them. You see how well Yeah, if you, if you... Oh, you're yeah. in this nasty key puzzle. That's pretty generous. That's not bad. Let's have a read of it. Let's see what this is. This, uh, oh, who reviewed this one? Oh, Sam Hickman. That wasn't there. Uh, what's his name? Who's at Digital Foundry now? Too samey throughout and downright irritating in places. Well, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. <laughs> Oh! I wouldn't disagree with it being somewhat irritating in spots. So far, the Saturn hasn't been subjected to the mass of platformers that made their way to the Mega Drive, but even all quality games such as Bug. Mm. I'm gonna have to stop you there. <laughs> mm. You said quality and bug in the same sentence. <laughs> I remember having to get all the cages just to get the ending. It was pretty brutal. brutal. Mm. Least... I think that's not the case in this version, but mm. I could be wrong. Well, I guess we'll soon find out when we get to the end. Oh. Whether he's like, oh, you got to get all the cages. Um, what I know now is that there are at least 120 cages. Mm. And um, if you go to see Batilla after you've done that, then she'll uh, give you an extra base point. Oh, yeah, she gives you extra hit points, doesn't she, for getting so many cages. So, yeah, I don't think... Their requirement this mm. time around. They're just for getting extra hit points from Patilla because she doesn't give you your moves anymore, so she's got to give you something, I suppose. Got to blow something your way. First time I played Rayman was on the GBA. Ooh. Oh. And they made the game easier. Well, I suppose they had to because you had such little screen space around you. To see what you were doing. Uh, I guess they had to make concessions with the level design, just out of virtue of the fact that it was so cropped inwards. Mm. They, they didn't shrink the sprites; they just kept them full size mm. on that tiny screen, mm. which was a choice. Mm. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah, um... Oh, key, key things. Nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Wow, well... While, physic while physically challenged in everyday life, it seems as though Rayman really comes into his own when faced with a good old fancy platformer. It's a bit unfortunate though that he breaks the very first rule in platforming heroism. He doesn't look anything like someone that he should be looked up to. 
In fact, he's more likely to trip over his own feet on his way to the shops and rescue a fair princess or collect 100 rings in under a minute. Uh... <laughs> what? Trip over his own feet on the way to the shops? <laughs> are they... Are people not... Are they... Have these people never watched anything like Inspector Gadget? I just... I mean, he's literally a bumbling idiot. <laughs> this is quite funny. Still, I suppose you can't really hold that against him. And he does have his talents, it's just that you have to dig a bit deeper to find them. <laughs> in fact, sometimes you have to dig really deep, and all Rayman at first seems like a nice enough platform in a fair. Everything works just fine, and at times you'll even find yourself having a bit of fun. Yeah. It becomes tedious rather quickly. This isn't the fault of bad programming, it does goes deeper than that. It's the fault of the game's designers who decided to build infinite levels of exactly the same gameplay and then tried to hide it by adding various weapons and making some of the levels really, really difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you'll be swearing like a trooper and failing never to pick up another platform as long as you live. <laughs> That's still one of the more generous reviews I've seen. Oh. Yeah, I'd say the first the version I grew up with of this game was the Saturn version. But I didn't get very far in it. Oh, Oops. Crossed I can't the line. Rip on them, I suppose. This was in issue one. Let's have a look at the prices here. This is issues from November ninety five. Rayman, nope. Oh wait, that's PlayStation games. Uh, Rayman, cool. <laughs> no, well, I don't know the price. Maybe it's too recent at the time. Oh yeah, Fumbelina on video CD. Beverly Hill Cops 3. Forrest Gump. Beastie Boy Sabotage. These little reviews for like video CDs for the five people that bought the uh, little expansion thing you can put in the back of the satin to play video CDs. Um, I'm just gonna. Look at your bug mm. uh, comparison. Like, yeah, the review mm. of um, Bug is like. Oh, but it's 3D though! It's 3D dead. It's like it's still not a very good platformer. <laughs> Being able to go in and out of the screen doesn't make it better, automatically better. I mean, I hate that game, but it's not brilliant. <laughs> very, very bog standard. They think this is bog standard, mm. but they thought bug was better. Because mm. you could walk in and out of the screen a bit and go up walls. <laughs> Also picked up the game for DOS and eventually picked up the Saturn version. Oh, cool. Oh, blimey, dark side. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to see what other magazines I've got that have the reviews. I don't know, I've got a, a few unofficial Saturn mags that might have reviews. Hmm. Oh, mind the uh, Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Hmm. Maybe I should just pull the whole box over. That's the unofficial mags. Yeah. There. Make so much noise, please. This way. I'll bring it over. Let's see what other, ma yeah. other magazines had to say about Rain Man. Mm. I might not actually have the Sega Power that has Rain Man in it, actually, because again, they, tra mm. they, they transitioned from a general Sega mag to a Saturn mag and then promptly died shortly thereafter because the Saturn bombed. <laughs> Well, the Sega Saturn, the official mag, was going on for way too long though. It was actually going long after like they were actually supporting the Saturn in the, over here, really. 
I always wanted to get the Jaguar version, but it seems like the ship has sailed to even get that game at a reasonable price. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that ship has definitely sailed. And it also requires only a Jaguar. Oh, what's this Sega Power? Oh, this one's got Knights. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Let's see if it's got anything to do with... Oh god, it's got a Bubsy. Wait, what? Oh my god. Mm. Well, did they almost put Bubsy 3D on the Saturn? There's actually a news article in here about Bubsy 3D for the Saturn. No way. I didn't actually know that. Ha! <laughs> wow, dodged the bullet there. <laughs> if there's anything in this one about. Mm. I remember, do I? Ah, miracle! To... Oh, it's a miracle! You got both keys. Well, so far. not just that, but I managed to spawn another um. Uh, oh, let's have a look spawned at another that. hit point. Oh, this is a mix of stuff. All right, all right, Saturn. The symbol. What? All right, so I've got three. Okay, so. 22% for digital pinball. Naff off, that game's great. <laughs> what the hell? Actually, naff off. <laughs> Trying to see if we can spot their Rayman review. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, they gave it 81%. All right, uh, Medium to hard platform, which suffers when compared to Bug. <laughs> oh, again. <laughs> For God's sake. Bug is not that good. All the yeah, ingredients I mean, are there. Cutie I... sprites, good, uh, good background and smooth mm. animation, but we've seen it all before and often better. But not in Bug. <laughs> compared to Bug, really. 95% for Bug! <laughs> Bug is the flagship sprite for the Saturn. Luckily, right, he lives okay. up to all expectations. The challenging 3D platformer allows travel at all angles. Oh! In four beautifully crafted scenes. All four. Right, so the cages, the cages were just there for um, me to get a cage. Easily oh. the best platformer on the Saturn. <laughs> You can move in and out of the screen. Oh, oh there he is again. Mr. Dark. Maybe even too far. You've almost found my custard patch. You've also, you've almost found my custard. Oh, it's oh flooding. wow! Whoa, chocolate monster. Surely, surely Rayman is Rayman allergic to chocolate, or is it just too much chocolate? Because I, I'd be fine with this. I don't know if I would. <laughs> I don't know. Mind you, there was take, that take over. Mind you, there was that scene in um, uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory um, oh, yeah. where one of the kids drowned, drowned in chocolate. <laughs> yeah, true. Of all the things he's been drowned by in this game, though, this is probably the least offensive. <laughs> like lava, ink, um, oh. water. <laughs> I'd say chocolate's probably the the one that would probably. I, I'd be. I think I'd be more happy to drown in chocolate than I would lava, for example. <laughs> at least it would taste a bit nice before you drown. <laughs> Not sure about the eyeballs, though. Again, what they put in this chocolate? <laughs> Why does the chocolate got eyeballs? Um... Uh... That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty fun. fun. Alright, I think that's everything here. Yep. Let's move on. Why is Mr. Dark's layer of chocolate cake gland? <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh, mini oh, boss. Alright, time for a mini boss then. Oh. Find the um Oh the strawberries. This is Mr. Dark's layer by Mr. Dark they mean dark chocolate. That's why his name's that. You have to throw strawberries into him. Right, maybe get 
Maybe get fruit in Knock his eyes. Knock him into his eyes, yeah. Maybe sting his eyes with uh, strawberries. Huh, weird. At least there's plenty of these pla- Oh, oh yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, <laughs> no, not the fruit! Oh, I've got to spit oh, chocolate. Oh, no, I'm really thinking about- I'm going to spit, spit more teasers at you. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. Very peculiar. Right, who's who's roping in this um, fruit? Oh, uh, yeah. Who's, who's tying mm. all this fruit to things? Very peculiar. Mm. Oh, yeah, the only thing I realised about this layout that we've done is it's cropping off the uh, boss's health. Mm. Yeah. He's got three hit points left. He's got six in total. Mm. Yeah, the, a lot of the mini bosses do. Yeah. Yeah, I just realised our webcam is basically cropping that corner out, but. Never mind, I could have swapped the uh, webcam and the uh, logo, but it's fine. Ouch. Makes it more suspenseful. Can't see the hit mm. points, I guess. Mm. Or less? I don't know. I don't know who's bringing the fruit in. Who's helping you here? Someone's the lectoons. Yeah, that were lectoons are flying overhead. If uh, the about final fifty of them, because they could just about carry. One if the story. final boss was anything to go by. All right. I don't even remember the ending. All I seem to all I seem to remember is mm. like Mr. Ooh. Dark just jumping off. Yeah. <laughs> just being like, now nah, I'm done. Bye. Can <sighs> find that other satin mag I've got in here. That's an old one. Oh, that one's got James Pond on the cover. Sweet spot. That's oh fine. boy. I want Mean Machines review for it. When's this one? It's number... Oh, it's got that from Gym 2 in it. That's oh, got Guardian Heroes in it. Maybe they've got a review in the back somewhere. So, yeah. Let's have a look. I just want to see what people were saying about Rain Man in these old packs. Mm. Oh no. Oh god. In the video CD stuff again. No so, one bought it. <laughs> what's all this about? Um, hmm. Like video CDs? There's a uh, video CD card you can get that slots into the back of the Saturn where the battery compartment is and it just lets you play mm. video CDs on the Saturn. And video CDs, ah. they did release some in the UK but it wasn't really, it never really took off here. I don't think this one's going to I know video uh, CDs right were now. more of a thing in like Asia. Oh, this one's got um, Ferebeki's Papoon in it. Mm -hmm. I think that is actually the Japanese release as a pop Oh no, that is Popolito, isn't it? Yeah, it got the title wrong. <laughs> 47%. I think that's where I originally saw those characters in this magazine, in Me Machines. I think they used them as mascots for stuff. Oh, wow. I don't think this one's going to have Rayman in it. It's a bit late or a bit early. One of the two. I mean, one way to find out is Rayman listed for sale. Oh, it is. It's too early. Yeah, nah. I don't think I have Mean Machines review for Rayman, but I think I've got the Total Saturn review in here, mm -hmm. which is another. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be in this one. It's A to Z. Yeah. Peter said Sega Saturn, Total Saturn, which was another short lived one, but this oh. one was worth getting because it always had demo discs. Yeah, this is like, it's probably got a condensed version of the review, but it will be in it. See what they gave it. 64%. Mm. It's a bit harsher. To coin an age phrase, Rayman is a platform game of the old school variety, a scrolling bouncing affair. It's a not so simple matter of negotiating endless drops, life taking sprites, and of course, collecting certain baubles and sparkly bits. If the total Saturn had a pound coin for every time this type we've played... Wow, that's not very good grammar. Mm. If the total Saturn had a pound coin for every game of this type we've played, we would need an absolutely huge piggy bank to keep them in. Rayman is polished, considered and slick, but it's unbelievably dated. It offers nothing that hasn't been done to death, while even its quirky sense of humour cannot breathe life into the collapsed lungs of its concept. What a metaphor. Mm. There must be a market for this kind of release. Well, yeah. See <laughs> yeah, how well it's sold. <laughs> On the PlayStation especially. Oh! 
Bar the occasional gem, it's this type of platformer is derivative, banal, and quite often offensive to bards. <laughs> they may more than look the part, but we find it terribly boring. Buy it for a younger relative you don't like. You don't like very much. <laughs> Ouch. Shits and giggles, as compared to their bug review. Just to see how it goes. Oh, you can go in and out the screen, mate. 78%. Oh, okay, so they were almost as harsh to this. Mildly diverting little platformer. Yeah, okay, their bug review is actually kind of fair. About what I'd say. 90% <laughs> for battle monsters, that's hilarious. If you really must buy it, look out for a second hand copy. You gave it 90%. Weird. <laughs> I seem to remember this magazine's reviews being a bit weird and sloppy. I love me machines. Oh wow, can go to the next side. See if this one has anything about Rayman. I thought everyone loves Rayman. Mm. Apparently not. Oh <laughs> no. Fact, some, they, especially you. some of the uh, PS1 previews were pretty scathing as well. It's 2D, I've had enough of 2D. I want 3D. Mm. I want virtual hide -lied. <laughs> No, they didn't want that either. What's that? Oh, that's Mysteria. Oh, cool. Sorry. Yeah. Mm, I don't think I've got... Oh, hang on. It's about Rayman. Oh, it's a cheats page for Rayman. For some reason, they put a Mega Drive next to... They made a mistake there. It says Saturn, but it's got a little Mega Drive next to it. <laughs> Option screen and lights. All oh, right. Ah, oh, springies. <laughs> the guy who's permanently drunk, Legolas. Get it? Yeah. Oh, I remember that one actually. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. Yeah. Let's uncover all of these cheats. All right. Well, that is. I guess there's no review of Rayman in this one because mm. it's. Guardian Heroes. Blam Machine Head. Hey, Darius. Darius Gaiden. Sweet. Love that game. So if I don't feel like I'm paying ever much paying much attention here. That's fine. It's been lots of candy, lots of clowns with bombs. I suppose this world's still going, but I guess that was a mid-boss. What is that? Oh wow. Max modem. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna get out. And I can almost come back to this a little hmm. later. Yeah. Oh, this one's got a this is this one's got a Rayman poem poem in it that someone sent in to Aww. win a contest, but it's all in French. <laughs> Here is the poem for your ple for your pleasure, and it's all in French. <laughs> what? Um. I don't know if you want to read it, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom there. I might have one that has. Oh, this one's much later, it's got Wipeout. Oh, yeah. Oh. X Men Children of the Atom. 94%, good boys. Hmm? Gave X Men Children of the Atom a good score because it's a good game. So the issues. Oh, wow, the first magical drop. Huh. Oh, yeah, because Me and Machines did a lot of import reviews. Oh, it's a moth in here. That was after they got. Oh, is it? A real wasp. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah, I didn't mean in the game. Yeah, even when Mean Machines got the official Sega license, they were still talking about import games. Surprising. This one must be later than the other one. Tips. Pop. Tips. 
Mm. If any of these other mags had a Rayman 2 preview, mm. it seems like only the official one did. I'm just hunting for Rayman. Ah, <laughs> have a look. Ugh, oh, that Gex advert. Just like Whoa. some guy or someone just eating bugs on the ads. That's mm. lovely. Um, you mm, know, nom, nom, it, nom, nom. well, Hunchman's French, so um, if you type that in, he might be able to translate I it. I can't type you? it in because it will take control away from. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I ain't typing oh. that all in. <laughs> I'll take a photo of it. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. I'll take a photo of it mm. later. I'm just curious what it says. I want to know what um, Mr. Skrultz from Rotterdam. Hmm? I want to know what he's saying. Oh, let's have a pick of it. Okay. Focus. No, oh, don't take it. Just focus. There. There we go. Uh, yeah, that would probably do. Right. Okay, I didn't flash all over the mm. screen. Yeah. yeah, I've still got Tim watching, that's cool. Yeah, I was just curious what that is. Uh, yeah. Two pinball. Oh. I think that's all my Moon Machines say, though, I don't have a lot of those. That and Power are probably just the same as Sega Power's uh, review of Rayman, but let's just see if they redid yeah. their score of it. They always had like a top 100 games in here. Let's see if it even made the top 100. Oh, they have got stuff on the sides as well. Oh my god. Rock Rockman X3 or Mega Man X3, 23%. The very worst game that we've ever played on the Saturn. What? Really? What? The port of a SNES game, but not a bad one. What the heck? Where did I get that from? I see if Rayman's on there. Uh... Oh, Rayman is in the top 100, 80 seconds. Yeah, pretty much the same, same thing. 81%. Mm. Yeah, that's the same score they had in. Um, and this is the last issue of that magazine as well, so it was it stayed in the top 100 for the whole duration of the short lived magazine. In 10 issues of it. Well, Sega Power was going for Yonks, but that and Power, mm. not so much. Oh, yeah, I could, couldn't I? Oh, yeah, good point. Ah. Uh. Use the translation app. Or try to. Might have a bit of trouble reading it. Mm. I'm probably freaking out about a Super NES game uh. appearing on a CD. It's not terribly different from the cart version. Yeah, I, I still don't think it's worth twenty. Only for twenty-three percent. That seems a bit harsh. But mm. a lot of these people, a lot of people back then were just really adverse to two D stuff. It was like, I already had, a, already got SNES on the Mega Drive. We have that at home. <laughs> we don't need more of it on our CD consoles. Uh, yeah, let's get the translation app. See if it can pick it up. Translate. Right. Um, let's change that to French. French. Oh, do I need to download it? Optimizing. If we can even. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's trying. Oh, there we go. Hmm? Between the large, between the large dismal animals of the wood, and the howling ice of the mighty wind, only a little voice gave me time, and he said to me, "My name is Rayman." That's the poem. Oh. Uh, okie dokie. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> that's what it says. I don't know how accurate. I think that's accurate. Yeah, that's all the lines of it. Yeah, that actually picked it up quite well. Yeah, it's going all distorted, but yeah. We. All right. Huh. Well, there you go. That was that. That was the that was the beautiful poem by Mister Scott 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 
Oh, we're off the dam. And he apparently won something for that. Compo winner. I don't know what he won, but... Oh, he won a Saturn. Wow. He won a Sega Saturn for writing a poem in French that they probably couldn't read. So they're like, oh, it's in French. It's mm. probably good. Probably not just a load of rubbish. <laughs> Great. Um, did I ever Pure tell... poetry, um, yep. Um, did I ever tell you that I had a poem published once in a... Oh, yeah. Uh, not in a gaming magazine, but in like a local um, poetry um, anthology thing. Oh yeah, I had a li a a tiny line of like something in the official Dreamcast magazine, but unfortunately I don't own those anymore, mm. so I can't show you it. But it was like when they were doing a thing about like the best Dreamcast games of all time or at the time. And I sent in a little quote about Crazy Taxi, just saying something along the lines of, like, shows how far gaming has come since Saxon or something like that. I don't know why I sent that in, but they put it in, like, a little section called You What? <laughs> so basically they were just baffled mm -hmm. by it. <laughs> but um, I really wish I submitted what I was originally going to send in was um, for Crazy Taxi, it's blister licking good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that game did actually give me blisters. I kind of wish I sent that, but instead I sent that weird thing about Saxon for some reason. It's just like, yeah, rightfully they read that one. What? <laughs> How's this got anything to do with Saxon or all things? Oh, oh, that's why that section was mm. big pit. Whew. You getting into the final stretch or? Or oh, I really would like to think. So. <laughs> oh my he's... god, he's... he's dropping a lot of bombs. They have infinite bombs. Some of them are so. Some present. of them are really aggressive. Yeah, aggressive clowns. Anyone think it was like a clown car, but instead of a car, it's a present, and instead of clowns, it's bombs. But it's a, a bomb present. Yeah. I'm going to some more of this Rayman zone. Oh! What else is in here? I think it's mostly about free, but... I mean, as Rayman in a Rayman game is one thing, but what if you want to take it one step further? Well, short of serious cosmetic surgery, not a good idea. You only need to ask Michael Jackson to know that. Uh -huh. There are other options. If you're a bit of a shoot 'em up addict and feel like bringing a little of your love to the limbless one into a different arena, then what better than a Rayman skin for Quake Free Arena? Pop along to www.3dapps.net slash models slash image or IMG slash Rayman to download it. Oh, I'm sure that link still works. Put it in the Wayback Machine and just get like, like loads of broken images. Yeah, that's usually the case. If you want to go one step further, then maybe a complete Rayman outfit would be more to your taste. Drop into the Irene Corey Design Associates website and check out what you could be wearing for your next fancy dress party. What, they actually sold that? I... This dumpy looking, this funny looking Rayman costume. Well, obviously, it's just got like black arms and legs because it doesn't have arms and legs so they can see it. Mm. It's quite dumpy. Quite cute it's, actually, but dumpy. It's the one that they used for, um, well, if I rem I'm trying to remember if it was the, uh, that one of the E3s or something, or? Yeah. Well, there is a little bit about the, uh, uh, TV series in here as well. Yeah. Because one thing I do remember um, from really early days of the internet mm. was when uh, I remember that Q3 yeah. model oh, I remember that Quake 3 model Rayman fell apart when he dies and plays his weapon like a ukulele for his taunt oh that's cool <laughs> Quake mods were great 
Yeah, it's, most of this magazine is Rayman man free, but oh. it was coming out at the time, I guess. Yeah, it was. Yeah, even goes into like comparing each console port. Mm. And there's the GBA one. <sighs> right, just trying to um, like, get my brain together and. Uh... Oh wow, there's a Rayman crossword. Oh, when it doesn't even have Fart Rayman words in it. Does it not? Nope. Oh. Most frantic soldiers in the war to free the Dark Lum Lord. You sure? Mm. Rayman's debut home at 11. Mm. Debut home. Oh, Jaguar? Mm. Oh. No, that doesn't fit. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Mm. Yeah, Jaguar. It's probably yeah. Jaguar. <laughs> Rayman's nationality, that would be French, probably. Mm. The Sonic colour. Yeah, it's blue. But why? <laughs> why is that Spider-Man's hammock? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. Jobs calls a lot of havoc. Seven. Yeah, that's hoodlum, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Find these: tennis ball, chocolate, Easter egg, elephant, Luigi. Newspaper, octopus, or orange? What? At least make. Why Luigi? <laughs> Random? Spot the difference. Oh, what are these little Rayman facts? Should we go through some Rayman facts? Yep. Let's have some Rayman facts. Have a look how many of them are just about Rayman 3. Let's. Just, I only just noticed all these at the bottom. Yeah, let's have some Rayman facts. Yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been any form of Quake on the Switch yet, because we've got mm. Duke Nukem, so maybe they're getting to it. <laughs> That'd be nice, the original Quake. Mm. I've got the original Quake, like the Dreamcast Hobo Report, knocking around. And also I've got Quake 3 Arena on the Dreamcast as well. That game was great. Mm. Rumour has it that Rayman has no limbs because the original art team that worked on the game found that he would take up 20 times more memory space if he had arms and legs. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that was... It's more... Yeah, it's because it was easier to animate as well. Um... Oh, that's what you mentioned before about... Rayman being a 12 year old kid that had been mysteriously transformed into the limitless platform hero. Yeah, uh, yeah, that of, was. Like sucked into a computer or something? Uh, that was like. Um. I don't know, that, that was more like a Chinese whisper. Yeah. Oh, so apparently Rayman M was renamed to Rayman Arena in America because of the yeah. uh, rating system. It'd be like Rayman Mature. <laughs> Oh, last. <laughs> oh, God. What is oh, that? What? <laughs> oh, I like him. He's sassy. Mm, I want a gif of him. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, I suppose. Oh, it's so sassy! <laughs> He's losing truck. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's my favourite enemy in the whole game now. Look at him. Look at it. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm a walking baron. Here you go. That face, yeah. I'll come back after making tea to that face. It's so good. <laughs> The smuggest piece of nougat I've ever seen. Right, more Rayman facts. And all Rayman has always been missing his arms and legs. Early artwork of the French superhero used to show his shoes with holes for his yeah. legs to fit into. You can see this for your, yourself if you check out the Rayman gold packaging. Ah, oh, okay. Fair dues. Yeah, I... Oh, I know, I know the cover you mean. That, that. that ugly... um. Oh. 
Yeah, that absolute um Glowbox's original mask. name was Globber. Yeah. That's just a random thing about Rayman 3, that's not really a fact as such. Did you know that Rayman's eyes aren't black at all? They're actually a dark blue colour. Oh, mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> sort of true. These facts are barely facts. They're just mm. like, Rayman 3 is out now. Mm. It's not really a... Voice actors. I'm just tr I'm trying to remember that tidbit because it was it was where um it was up on the first time I saw the costume. The GBA and GameCube versions of Rayman 3 are the most link-up compatible games ever. They they link up more than any other game has ever linked up before. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any mm, sense. No. That's not a fact. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, here's a, here's a hot Rayman fact for you. If you play like a true superhero in Rayman 3, you can unlock hidden bonuses. <gasps> oh, no! I'm, hot facts. Oh, I love this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm so proud. He's so proud. I don't blame him. He deserves to be proud. Not exactly unique. There's loads of them, but, yeah. Just happy to be who... Who they are. Who they are. Oh, all these Rayman facts are exactly what I was expecting. They were just about Rayman 3. Just like, oh, Rayman has a new ability in this game. But great. He has fight. He has um, a few new abilities. I need the washing up powders. Right, that's... <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird thing to just put next to a screenshot of Rayman Revolution. Look out for second hand Rayman games in your local store. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't give a penny to Ubisoft. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look for second hand games. Why is that there? You'll find all kinds of new Rayman games here. Yeah. Paragraphs are just strange. It's always weird when they do these magazines that are just made to advertise a franchise, so everything they say has to be positive. Oh, yeah, um... It's like, oh, it's great, everything's great. Perfectly suited to the GBA. Debatable. <laughs> it's that one, isn't it? Oh. Ah, there's all screenshots of the old website. Yeah. Oh, and all them, um, what, 2003 glory. Right, so the first time I saw that costume mm. was. Uh, it was some somewhere on like GameSpot or IGN. Something else in the and it was promoting not only Rayman 2, but also oh, it was promoting a, a child abuse um, charity oh, in a, no, not UNICEF, a, a local one. Oh, okay. Like in not like in somewhere in like California. Yeah. 
Let's see what this bit of French, that's Rayman's final fault is. Oh, it was nonsense if I remember right. Uh, as you can hey, see, as you can it, see, what? I lost all my lives. Uh, I'm just going back for a present in a uh, land land. So it's something along the lines of, I, if it was stay still for a second, if you expect a lot of obstacles during your mission, cut your arms immediately for victory. Mm. That's, I presume that's not a straight translation. Uh, it's yeah. It's a bit rough, but. I seem to remember you it was... expect a lot of obstacles during your mission, cut your arms immediately for victory. Words to live by, Rayman, yeah. words to live by. Mm. Cut your arms for immediate victory. Yep. <laughs> totally makes sense. Feel bad. It took me nine years to beat the game the first time, which was a simplified GBA version. There's a uh, Daniel. Hmm. Well. Daniel Lennart. Well. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Or well, welcome to the chat. I don't know how long you've been in the stream, but welcome to the chat. Hmm. Always nice to see new faces. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Or you know, new names in text form hmm. because I can't see your face. <laughs> Right, so it's definitely in this level. Oh, we're doing now? Um, I'm going back for the prison in uh, this level. Oh, I see. So have you gotten to a point where it's asking you to do certain things to get to Mr. Dark, or have you not got mm. to that point yet? No. Like I say, I got sort of booted out of that level. Oh, what, you game over the door? Yeah. Uh, they're just doing some backtracking. At least you've got that key stuff out of the way. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah, that was for a cage. Oh, was it? What were the keys? Yeah. Ah, uh, so it was optional then, technically. Well, technically optional. Mm. We we're just trying to get through it. I guess. But yeah, the way the original game worked, it was almost like you technically had to 100% the game to 100 to beat the game. Was the cages, I guess. You mm. needed to get all of them, didn't you? You did. Yeah. yeah before you got to. Um, Mr. Dark's there. Yeah. So, yeah, you technically had to 100% that game, I suppose. If that's what your class is, 100%. Oh, we've been there for four hours. Mm. Oh, that's a leap of faith. We. That's your Doritos. All right. How many of those Doritos have you got now? Oh, music medallion, so, um... Huh, in the GBA can... version, those bugs were the only enemies dealing knockback. Huh. I just power up skins. Want it? It's yours, my friend. Or would you have enough teens? Oh! Oh, is that another skin? Yes! Oh, what's that one? Um... Rockstar. Oh! What is that? You know the... Red monsters in um Oh in the music land. Yeah. Oh I see. Got a different uh yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a weird colour scheme. Dark red. Oh well then things like big maracas or whatever. Yeah. Right, I'm wondering if I should attempt um sweet spot again. Oh yeah. I always like these little drawings at the start of the worlds mm, when you go yeah. from one world to the next. Ooh. That is a weird colour scheme. Oh, Sega Pro. Oh, this Sega Pro came with a free little box of Frosties. Mm. Like, attached to the front of the mag, like... Box of Frosties. Mm. Oh yeah. But that was not. But that was nice to eat, not. <laughs> I'm sure it was fine at the time. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's why I remember seeing the Ibaraki characters. They sort of had like knockoff versions. Oh wow, there's actually a bit about the um, Father uh, Father yeah. Christmas uh, game. Oh yeah. Or just a screenshot of it, but yeah, it's oh. there. This section has a rather unfortunate name, though. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Rather unfortunate name. Oh. Mm. I, I I doubt they meant any harm, but yeah. Mm. See what it actually said about it. Oh yeah, we promised you a pick of the Saturn Father Christmas game last month, and here you go. Based on the phenomenally successful Roman Briggs stories, the game sees players taking the role of Santa's helper and giving him a hand dishing out prezzies on Christmas Eve. That's not what you do. You sort of um. You just sort of learn about, learn about uh, different countries. Funny thing is though, this game won't be out until well into the new year. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Win crumbly Sonic. 96 packets of Sonic the Hedgehog biscuits to give away. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog biscuits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to see some old websites? There's some old websites. Oh, yeah. Bug Online. Vectorman.com. Mm -hmm. Which is actually, yeah. Kids WB website. Saturn really that type for games that like the top 10 95 Saturn games include Street Fighter the movie. <laughs> oh. Woof. Woof. Find the book out for any other little snippets of Rayman. Oh, there's a screenshot of a Rayman. Oh, okay, so Rayman was reviewed, I think. Hmm? In the issue with our real monsters on the cover, All right? I think. Uh, well, there's a screenshot of Rayman. I don't know if that means it was reviewed in that issue. It's just a screenshot of Rayman. Mm. This issue is obviously a lot later. <sighs> oh, this one's got a few pages missing. Center. Oh, they would sell certain games. Oh, wow. What are you even doing? <laughs> wow. A font work for this advert on to advertise in Sega mm -hmm. Pro. The font work's amazing. Over 25,000 people buy Sega Pro to reach yeah. them, call Alan. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, oh, they were much more generous. This is how I ended up seeing uh, Herabeki. All these magazines had it. Because it was actually released over here. Who is Herabeki? What is a Popolito? These and many other tricky questions will be answered on this very page. This is the sort of thing the Japanese go balmy about. Really? They mention that it's just a Dr. Mario type frame? No, not really. Oh. Also, they didn't know what their names were, mm. so they just made up names. Hattie, Mr. Shades, Poor Poor. Unless that was their localised mm. names, I don't know. 
Oh, this one's got a um, Rayman guide in it. Oh, what, like a walkthrough? Well, plain tips. Oh, it only goes up to Mr. Scops, though. Oh. oh, okay, so it was in the issue before this one. Oh. And they scored it 92%. Huh. Wait, I thought... Oh, I'm thinking of Sega Power. This is Sega Pro. <laughs> There's another one. But they were the. They gave it the highest score out of any of them then. They actually gave it 92%. Wow. I don't want to see what the previous issue was now. Oh, and they also got a contest to win Rayman with a Saturn in the back here. Oh, I remember this. I actually remember going through this one because there's little electoons hidden throughout this magazine. Mm. Even though Rayman's not reviewed in this issue. Oh yeah, I haven't got that issue then. Yeah, it's our real monsters on the cover, but yeah, 92%. That's mm. that's very generous. That's really generous for these old magazines. Ah, so there's little electoons mm. hidden in this magazine somewhere. Mm. I seem to remember this contest actually. If I look through it, I should spot. I'll spot some. Uh, spot some electoons. If I can spot an electoon, I'm just gonna look for electoons. <laughs> but they're hidden on pages with a lot of pink. Oh, there's one. There's one in between the words Firestorm Thunderhawk mm. 2. <laughs> Probably not see it, but yeah, there's a little Electune there. It's just the same picture of Electune over and over. Mm. But hidden on random pages. Or is that the only one? Oh no, there's one next to a boxing man. <laughs> That's weird. The magazine has Electunes everywhere. Maybe Ubisoft just paid them money to give it a good score, who, don't, who knows? Mm. They're doing a contest for it as well. A little bit suspect, but... There's another one above Hang On 95. Mm. It's an awful game. Awful version of Hang On. Huh. Well, mm. yeah. Let's see what they say about... Yeah, it's only like from the beginning to Mr. Scops. In fact, why not tell us at Sega Pro if you have finished 100%? You're probably so good that you could come and work for us. Well, perhaps not, but we might send you something. Enjoy. Ah. Oh. How nice of you. Some of them run for it in the letter section. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's just get out of here. No, um, <laughs> that costume is freaky. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Oh, I think I was back to where um, I lost all my lives. Oh, the contest also got you a Rayman t-shirt. Oh! 
Oh, I wonder what that looks like. A Rayman like. t-shirt and a copy of the game. Four runners up to get a Rayman t-shirt and a copy of the game. Uh, and a salmon. In the case of the main winner. Oh, hang on. There's a... Oh no, that's uh, something else entirely. As a tiebreaker, we also want you to complete the phrase, I've been a good little boy slash girl and I think I deserve the win because... You know, more than 20 words. Good luck. Alright. It's funny. I like looking at old magazines. I'm almost tempted to do a stream where I just flick through old magazines, but I don't know if that would be entertaining or not. Probably wouldn't be. I don't have as many as I used to have. I used to have all the Dreamcast ones, but I sold them or I traded them. One was well, traded right, them for a so... Dreamcast, which I also don't have anymore because <laughs> I needed the money. It's such a strange colour scheme. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. What are we doing at the moment? Um, oh, you're back to the level Yeah, that you're just trying at. to get through yeah, so this. I haven't really been paying much attention. Considering uh. he doesn't have any limbs, wouldn't it be a eye shirt? Yeah, uh, yeah, because well, he hasn't got arms, so yeah. It'd be an eye shirt, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm in the top half got them, so I'm uninspired. Yeah. There's one. Mine's got Rayman guys on it. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to know what that t-shirt's like. I have got a Rayman 2 t-shirt knocking around somewhere for the Dreamcast version that's American. Someone oh, sent me one. yeah. I've never worn it, it's just like wrapped it's, up. Yeah, it's still. still in its packaging. I believe it is, anyway. It's got like a Rayman 2 pose from the American box art on it. Pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, luckily there's a floor there's there. Some, there's something missing here. Mm. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to know who who was the most favourable to Rayman in the old Sega magazines, it was Sega Pro. <laughs> By a long stretch, actually. One of them was 81. That one was 92, I think. Hmm. Maybe, um, maybe I've got to spawn something. Oh, yeah, maybe there's a little, little sparkle somewhere. <sighs> Whoa. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Imagine now, like, on the previous streams we were playing quite a few different worlds. This stream has been like two worlds because <laughs> they're so much longer mm. and harder. Right, there's... There's a cage. Right, uh, okay. Or a cage. Right, so that's all the... all the collectibles here. Um, mm. Now I've just got to try and figure out how to... Oh, oh boy. Oh! Alright. been punched into the sky, they just look like they're jumping away. Mm. There's definitely some kind of gender here. Oh, with the little blinky things. Yeah.
reckon that's what it is. Yeah. Alright, so can keep an eye out for sparkles then. Well, sometimes there's not even sparkles. Oh. So if I keep going. <laughs> it's quite warm and cozy yeah. up here. Warm and cozy. It's not very nice in the heat wave, but No, not so bad today. Not quite as bad today. Otherwise I would have done the stream downstairs. But I think there's less input lag on this monitor than there is the TV, yeah. so hopefully that's mm. helping. Yeah. Ooh. And the uh, save file doesn't track how many hours put into it because mm. you did do a bit more off stream. I mean, we roughly know yeah. how much you like, spent on it just by the streams, but mm. at least probably about 15 hours now just on the streams. Not a short game. I'd say the original is more like five to ten hours tops. Probably more like five hours. We haven't even really done like some of the extra stuff yet, like the time based levels. How haven't you been? I don't, I don't blink. Have you already done this bit? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I've already got the present. Uh, oh, is that what this is up here? But oh. I'm just seeing if there was a gender. Ah. level called? Um, sweet spot. Sweet spot. Might be too early. It might be early days, but it's not that. See it hiding up the top. Yeah. Oh, alright. Oh, right. this was. Uh, oh. oh, now we're back to the. Uh... Oh, didn't you already do do that bit before then? Oh yeah, I got here before. Yeah. So, oh, that's strange. Mm. How did you? Oh, I think it was momentum again. Yeah. Back to the, back to the mincing uh, nuggets. Fabulous. Mm. This one has a TikTok um. account. Mm. This one over here sells its mm. bath water mm. to Simps. Uh, sorry about what's what's all this about bath water? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> one of those friggin' e girls, literally sc scamming people at. Well, you could say scamming. Sad owes out of money, but you know, they're paying it. Mm. She's literally taking water out of her bath and selling it to people. But yeah, that was a while ago, but 
I only know about it because of critical. Alright. <laughs> We talk about stuff like that. It's the only time I did like, ever hear about that kind of stuff through him. Usually, otherwise, I wouldn't. Mm. No. He says, mm? trying to trying to hide the fact that he bought some and said Marvel, and well, no, I didn't. <laughs> I do not understand that. Why would you put someone's bath water? <laughs> Why? Mm, it's just dirty water. All, about, yeah, all that lovely bacteria that you could ever want in your life. Mm -hmm. Don't get it. People are weird. The net's weird. People rightfully, if they can make money from idiots, then go right ahead and make money from idiots. I suppose. Oh god, that's a lot of them. I suppose you can walk through them. Or we'll try not to get hit by one there. I've got one health. Oh. Ah, that's not fair. Oh, I'm back to like, oh, you touched the sprite. You didn't touch the tip of it, but you touched the sprite. Just the tips. <laughs> just the tips. In this case, it's not just the tips, but yeah. I have got one official Dreamcast magazine here. Mm. They gave Rayman 2 an 8 out of 10, but put one of the most unappealing characters ever has been spoiled with a particularly classy 3D platform adventure. Mm. One of the most unappealing. Mm. There's a little guide thing about Rayman 2 in here as well. Oh, this isn't the one that had my little thing in it, is it? Mm. Probably not. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, no. Pretty certain it's not. Oh, by the way, did you get the bins done? Uh, not yet. Oh. I can sort that out if you want. Right. I'll go do the it. Right, hopefully this time you won't hear him rustle. Rustle? Like, um, you know, like... When you were streaming yesterday? Uh, no, because it's at the bottom of the house and we're in the top, so I guess mm. no, that's not going to be the case. Might do myself a peppermint tea as well while I'm down there. Mm. Yeah, half eleven. <laughs> mm? Yeah, The way this way things are going at the moment, maybe not, but yeah, mm. like you say, we have 12 and a half hours. I don't even know how much more there is to the ending, either. There might, there might have been extended, in fact, I suspect it's probably extended, mm. extended. That's probably the thing that's been ex mm -mm. expanded most.
Oh, don't want the health again. Right, so I think I'm at the point now where um, I died last time. Oh, well, oh, at least I'm not too far back now. I don't normally suck my thumbs like this. Oh no! Just that my thumbs are getting a bit sore. Everything here now. Just a matter of get, just getting the hell out of there. Oh man! Oh, Mr. Dark's there now. Buy some like some more lives. See if we can get that um electron. Hmm. Hmm, I 
sorry about this. Oh. Ah, do we get up there? There we go. Ah. Oh, come on. Yeah. That is indeed nice. Oh, wow. It's the castle in the background. Oh, that's a nice touch. Oh, boy. There are some tricks up in my oh. oh man. It's bad Ray man, he's he's here. Ouch. Oh at least I Oh yeah, I remember um, in the Game Boy Color version where um, you actually get to fight Mr. Dark and you actually see him die and everything. Oh god. Uh Oh. Mm. That bad rain man. Yep, he's here. Oh, I already knew that because I watched him a little bit downstairs. <laughs> yeah. And there's like a key um Oh god, they got key stuff. Right. Bad rain man. He's like, no, I want a key. I want it for bad things. You want it to open doors, I'm gonna just shove it up people's bums. Bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how uh, 
the final Mr. Dark Battles. Like, I don't know anything about what the new one's going to be like. Mm. Kind of try to go spoiler free with a lot of this. Yeah. Ah! Ow. That's a weird, mm. busy noise. Gets you. Yeah, originally, if he, if he touched you, you just um, sort of uh, collapsed. Oh, yeah, he sort of breaks you. Does mm. a creepy pasta face on the screen. He copies your exact movements, doesn't he? Yeah. So whatever you do, you can sort of take him on a goose chase. Uh, or, you know, you can try and manipulate him a little bit. Uh, yeah. That's actually pretty cool how it works, mm. how it like, records what you're doing. That's it. I'm going to assume that's a skin as well. I bet you get to play as him. Apparently he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, at some point. I'm not 100% sure, but... I wouldn't be surprised, like, because of the skins that are in here. And there's loads of them, there's like 20, I think, or 30 odd. Oh, like come on. He's supposed to swing over that if it's dying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. He's got catch up. Ah! <laughs> mm. really close now. Yeah. He's almost right near the end. Yeah. As far as I remember, it's, it is. It's still weird that it's all in pig land to me. I feel like I saw what's enough before. Mm. But I don't know, last world. But there's the stuff in it that makes it a of last world, even though it doesn't look like one at all. It's not your typical mm. anyway. What would you expect to be the, the home of this ah. bad rain man? Ways. <sighs> they all just hang out on some yogurt. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to design an evil foreboding place, but they like, we ran out of time. We're like, oh, uh, well, we well, it's a bit like, um, you know, the Pleasure Island in uh, Pinocchio. Yeah, I guess I could see that um, angle as well. He even does the punch. Mm. Oh, yeah, as I like too. Life. Yeah, maybe he's like hanging on the other thing, delaying or something. Like It sound like there's like clapping when you get caught. Oops, clap, 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 clap. Mm. Yeah, I'm really looking, to see, looking forward to seeing the final, mm. the final boss. Oh! Yikes. <sighs> he, he's, it's not a terribly difficult level, it's just knowing exactly where to go. Yeah. It's not just a straightforward race. Bit more to it than that. This is light about. I presume they respawn. Yeah, they do um, when you uh, lose a life, yeah. Oh, that's good. That way you can theoretically do this for a while, <laughs> if you need be. 
almost like I have an infinite life, so mm. you collect it every time. Mm. Yep, that one's back as well. Cool, cool. Oh, so you're actually getting two lives each time, so you're actually earning a life each time. Uh, yeah, if, if I don't keep losing them, yeah. Yeah. But each time you die, you gain, get, well, you're earning another life. Yeah. Over the one that you just lost. God. Yeah. I'm just basically copying your moves, but scary. Oh. back into him. <sighs> Not what you wanted. Really? Right, if I keep getting the life from down yeah, here. Getting that one and if you can get the other one as well then you're basically earning lives. Yeah. Be useful for whatever's after this probably. It will probably be the uh, the running spell and the no fist spell. Oh of course yeah there's that bit where they take your fists away isn't there? Yeah. I just forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, it's ten now. Two ten watches. Hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh! Oh jeez. It always oh. seems to catch up with you on like slow platforms. Yeah, if you... you dilly dally he catches up. Maybe he's yeah. like ever so slightly faster or something. He... he just right. catches up on like little things like that. That O was for a present. Mm. It yeah. wasn't the original, like a boss rush as well. Um, not necessarily. It was more like oh. a boss mashup. Oh yeah, of course. It was like a weird mutant of everyone, including the mosquito, who's like your mate. So that was a bit mm. freaky. It was like, oh, we just it combined all the bosses, including the one that's your mate. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the hell happened there? It sounds like it's <sighs> clapping you every time. Uh, I think I've really got to try and concentrate. Yeah. So I'm just phasing down there ever so slightly. Yeah, stuff like that, like this, he catches up. Good thing he even replicates the head donks. Donks his head. Ooh, oh! He keeps getting you there. Before hmm. the ground wall, I think you can just run crawl to the last platform for a shortcut. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Ground wall. Hmm. Okay. What do I think? You're not going to game over here by any means because mm. we're just earning lives every time. At least not here, anyway. Yeah. 
building up life for what comes next, I guess. Mm. One way to look at it. Mm. If you were playing this for the first time and you had no idea about the Endors thing. Oh, what, the Gendors? The Gendors, or whatever. That, knowing that, not knowing that you have to sometimes go backwards to set one off. Probably why I didn't really get on with this game as a kid, because of stuff like that. It's like a bit too vague for my child brain. Right, okay, I don't understand why things are just blinking into existence. Maybe do, sh yeah, do short jumps so you can't like reach up to you. There we go. Even this has been mixed up a bit, hasn't it? There wasn't yeah. any key puzzles before. Ah, I got my doorknob. And you got my key, not my doorknob. I already had a doorknob, it's on my nose. Also in the middle of the door for some reason. This bit's nasty. That was like a gap. Oh, there's only this brown wall? Like up here? So he's got to land on you. Oh! Oh, cool! Cool, 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 cool! Mm, is that worth risking? Mm, probably not right now. <laughs> Jesus. That's a narrow wall. Yeah, boy. Oh god. Oh really? He's hit couldn't count oh. I suppose. Mm. Oh. oh, for when you and Dark Rayman run left and right on the corn platforms. Or like the nougat platforms? Okay. Um, run crawl the last I'll keep an eye out. No! Oh. <sighs> when you um, run left and right on the corn platform. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, I, um... Pressed, I did the grimace and uh, yeah, I heard it happen. And then he did one back. That was an achievement. Ah, cute. That's well cute. Yeah, he's got like a green tongue. Does it too? But when he does it, he vomits blood because he's hardcore. Edge. By corn, probably maybe. Probably oh, what, these unique. platforms. Yeah, apparently there's a shortcut to the last platform somewhere. Oh, like over there, maybe? Hmm. I'm going to do shorter jumps here because he tends to. Oh! Yeah, you have to do shorter jumps there because otherwise oh. he's high, the high jump reaches you, doesn't mm. it? Ah, yeah, so it was that area. Oh, what, that bit with the, um... That you were just on. Just before the, uh... What the oh, hell? Christ alive. <laughs> right, but I really want to finish the game. Racking up some flies. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> oh, what the hell happened here this time? You jumped, so he jumped. And then you jumped into mm. your old jump, <laughs> I guess. Yeah.
it seems like you've got to be careful with jumps more than anything, because yeah. obviously the jumps are what he copies. Well, he copies everything, but like... It's like a high jump and you're jumping up. And he's below you, he's gonna... Sometimes jump into your jump... Into you as you're jumping, because it's a high jump. Yeah, so don't jump so much here, for example, yeah. So you can get under them. Yeah, this brown wall, I think. That's one four. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, that's it is. Again, this is where you got to be really careful with the jumps. Where's the go? Oh, I'm going to. Huh? Going down the completely wrong. I was going to say, you're going back where you came from. Oh, yeah, so I yeah. am. Yeah, <laughs> I could tell what you were doing. <sighs> I think you could. Um, right, uh, well, at least I'm in a sort of safe space. It's yeah, it's, safe. it's wide enough that it's only the tight spaces that are mm. tricky. Can you get up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, near the end, should be near the end of the level now. What? Oh. Oh! No! Oh! Oh! I have got. Again, you jump. I haven't got to worry. Into your old jump. Yeah. It's almost like you've got to trace a path of where you've been. Like think about where you've been, so you know what he's gonna do. After the fact, mm. make sure you don't cross that stream. You know, don't cross the streams, mm. as Ghostbusters would say. Don't like cross your uh, past stream, I guess. Mm. It's right. What to do now? You don't have to get that present now. So. No. <sighs> Try and get some more lives. As well. Oh, they're getting more lives. Might need them. Don't have to do all this bit again. I think you don't need to go to the platforms at the bottom of the screen. There's a small gap between the wall and the step, last step before you go to the right. Maybe it's different. Mm. Uh, might be thinking of the original version or something. Yeah, you can just go straight up here now, can't you? Back around. Oh, that's it, that's it. Go on. Oh my son. Oh. Yay, bye. Oh. Bye, bad Rayman. No one likes you because you're bad. Right. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, oh is this the... the reverse controls? Yes. I wonder... I wonder if you can go into the control settings and change left and right. Is it worth checking? Mm. <laughs> Checking options. I wonder if they get disabled. Mm. Yeah, I've got the gamepad set up. You can change right to left, right to left, and left to right. No, uh, no. Can you not? If you press A on them, no. It doesn't let you reconfigure mm, them. Nope, not them ones. <laughs> they bought. It's been thought of. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that was thought of. Wait, you're not going to be. You're not allowed to change left for right and right for left because of this one level that reverses them. Yeah. So if it's not, if it's mm. not obvious. Imagine if attack and jump would changed as well. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would suck. At least that you could definitely change back. Because <laughs> the buttons are configurable. I think they'd make it so the uh, directions could be changed, but maybe it's just disabled for this level? Mm. Or maybe they're just not configurable, even though they're there, so you'd think they would be. Yeah, this is where the game gets a bit sadistic with some of these tr tricks. Oh, I'm still in this freaking clown world. Clown, chocolate, and cutlery. <laughs> ah, I get it. Oh, oh, where are you going? Oh, God, what did I just do? You fell in the pit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your controls are reversed, so. Yeah. Yeah, if, if people watching this haven't played. Rayman up to this point before. In this level, they reverse left and right. <laughs> you know, just for funs. Mm. For fud. I don't know, fud. Mm. That's like, I'm changing your controls! I'm breaking the full wall! It doesn't reverse up and down as well, does it? Not that they're used much. Oh, it's just left and right. Ah, uh, it still sucks. Ah, oh, go away. Do the thing where you just don't have your gloves or something, didn't they? Oh, After yeah. This. Wonder if uh, my nanny's added another one. It's like, oh, in this one, um, uh, uh, Man has no feet and he just has a roll around on his belly. Mm. That'd be weird. Or we've got no helicopter or. Yeah, like his hair's just gone. <laughs> It's like Doctor Mr. Dark comes in with a razor and just shaves his hair off. Well, I sort of touched on that before. Um, yeah. Rayman ha not having any hair. Oh, that was in Legends on the Vita, right? Oh, Origins in the Vita. Oh, oh Origins, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, the last world has annoying clown music. Like mocking new music. For me though, this just comes across like in Dragon Ball Super, Frieza when he died, he ended up in like hell, but his hell is like a cutesy garden with all fairies and like cuddly animals all singing around him all day. And that's what this world makes me think of. It's like as if that's like if Freezer hung out there. That was like his, his domain. <laughs> it's strange. I'm, I'm the dark. I live in a world of candy and clowns. Nobody likes clowns. 
Or candy? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I suppose it makes a change from the usual. Ooh, it's a brooding, dark, thunder place. Evilness. Oh. Right. Okay. We've got a little right. knights and forks. Right, got my. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, but then he's gonna force me to run. Oh, okay. Now you can do nothing but run. It's an endless runner. Bit trip re presents Rayman Runner. <laughs> so is that the canon for um? What was it? How's that game on phones? Where he's just running infinitely. Oh, Jungle Run and Sister Jungle Run. Um... Yeah. Mr. Dark Returns is to make him run forever. That's the phone game. Right. It's like, I've been in all sorts of games and done this, all over phones. Hmm. I did it to Mario, I did it to Sonic. Right. I should be very close to the end now. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be the plot twist. Yeah. Oh man. Plot twist, Mr. Dark is secretly the creator of the game. Yeah. I could just delete you! Oh! Oh, hello! Ooh, man! Uh, oh! Is that right, man? Bad, He's here baddie, again. Baddie again. Oh, boy. What well, a good thing you stacked up those lives. It's all new. This is definitely a new layout. This looks like the final boss area, but mm. as a level, doesn't it? Uh, it's... Oh, it's all, uh, it's like new assets. It almost doesn't even look like pixel art. It's look like hand drawn art in the backgrounds. It's interesting. Ooh. Boy, it's complicated. Hopefully he gets hurt by the electines as well. And the team. Alright, right, well, <laughs> I like how we, um, bad Rayman explodes when you fall off a level or something. It's like he's a Mr. Me Seeks. It's like a, he's my mission is done. Rayman is vanquished, so I am vanquished too. <laughs> mm. Mr. Me Seeks, specifically for destroying Rayman. <laughs> Hi there, AEW. Why, why is Rayman a tomato? <laughs> he says. Oh, uh, it's yeah. one of the uh, unlockable skins. It, it's basically made him look like one of the enemies in the band land. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's a tight jump. Yeah, there's loads of different unlockable skins. One of them's actually Dynamite Heady, <laughs> or yeah. vaguely resembles Dynamite Heady. Anyway, Spider, Sonic, Dynamite Rayman. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Kind of resembles him anyway, yeah. He's yellow, like the belly. And the hair, when he runs, kind of looks like he's a little feather on his head. No longer a tomato, you can rest. You can rest easy now, he's not a tomato. Oh, there was a tiny platform there. He's just floating on nothing. I don't need platforms, I just need to copy you. I'm bad. Yeah. God, why are there anti tunes everywhere? Oh. I guess he stops to. Oh. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I like that last uh, one of these. This is all new, so. That whole extra. Level up. Up. Like, you haven't even got a fake familiarity to go by here. Mm. It's all new. Mm. Oh god. No! Oh. You can't get like a little trail behind you so you can see where you've mm. been, so you know what not to walk into where you've been. 
Mm. It's like a couple seconds delay of what you've done, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, seems you that just way. You've got to memorise where you, what kind of jump you did, and what the running just said jump. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to float. You demand realism in a limitless adventure? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> he is just copying Roman's moves, whether that means he can bend the oh! fabric of time and space that's uh. up to him. <sighs> Under some real pressure. Mm -hmm. So I've got the men. Willing. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm close now. Oh! Oh! Hang out where you were mm. hanging out. Believe it or not, I haven't actually been very far in uh, Over in Advance, so I don't know if it is that or not. Oh, well, it might be from GBA. Uh, it's a possibility. Maybe even the Game Boy Color one? Yeah, that's a possibility too. Wants me to spawn. Um... Ah, there we go. There's a money now. Never. Oh. Went too high again. <sighs> I think you're gonna have to try and practice doing little, like running mm. spinny jumps, but like short ones. Yeah, like that. For where you can. So you're not having so big, such big arcs on your jumps. Coming back on. Mm. Loads of jumps into them. Mm. Mm. Right, so it's just basically going through uh, this loop here. Yeah, I do like a lap of this. Mm. Back through again. Then guys fly forward. Because <laughs> they do that apparently now. Oh, did you have to hit that? I mm. know oh, you didn't. Again, careful with the jump. Oh! oh it's, it's a case of avoiding both the Electoons, Antitoons, and him. Yeah, you just gotta be careful of what you're. what kind of jumps mm. you're doing, I guess. Mm. Try and memorise what you did so you know not to part <sighs> cross up with it. And it's, it's tricky. Oh, level, level. No. It's alright, I'll read the chat. I don't need to read the chat. I'll pass the chat on the chat. I'll read anything that's said. Do you? Uh, 
anti tunes are not helping. It's definitely a take on um, the old Mr. Dark theme. Oh, is it? Played on Gagarin Cherry that just had like anti to anti tunes and the tiller and yeah that game called Shocking. Oh yeah. Yeah. If there's any uh, Rayman fans in the chat that haven't seen that yet, um, check out a video on our channel for a game called Shocking. Ah, mm. oh, okay. Well, I'll drop by and see what's up. I think I might call it a night myself. I'm in a state where I think I really need to get some sleep. All right. Have a good sleep. Thanks for popping in, though. Here's that. See you later. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> this is a complicated situation they've just given mm. you because you have to try and go back and forth oh. between the platform for back crossing yourself. That sucks. Oh, I just when I thought I had it. That section's gonna give you grief, I can tell already. That is complicated what they just did. It looks simple, it's just two platforms. But that is mm. really actually kind of complicated. Mm. If you stand in the same place, he will stand in the same place with you. He will catch up and stand where you're standing. So you have to keep moving. Mm. Yeah, don't anticipate this. Mm. We've got a checkpoint there. Mm. That. Mind you, if he got in the checkpoint, would he catch up with you and get the checkpoint too and kill you? Oh, Yo's ain't there. Oh, yeah, you can go around. Yeah. Ooh. I can try and get rid of those. I've never been surprised to see that they oh. bothered to make a grimace sprite for mm. Dark Rayman after skipping to the last level with cheats once. <laughs> oh, I did do that before. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like for the first time round. game over and they expect you to do all of that again. Yeah. I guess you can make a decision whether you want to continue tonight or save it for another day. Or likely save it for another day. Yeah, I don't blame you. This has been gruelling. This has actually been madness. The fact that we've even done as much as we have in one night is kind of mad. I didn't expect it to be this long to be honest. Definitely more of a challenge than the original was, and the original was a challenge. Oh. But so much like new stuff here, like this whole area. Like, let's take the whole that chased by a bad Rayman thing and make it even more complicated. Oh. This feels like whenever, like, say, like a Mario game has like a final bonus world after the after the credits, kind of like that. Odyssey had, and they're always ridiculously hard mm. every time they do those, like Mario Odyssey, Mario Galaxy, and you beat the credits, and then it's like, oh, here's all the post-game stuff, and it's like, oh, here's the final level, the final final level, and they're usually an absolute nightmare, like, I hate them. 
Okay, like if you stand there, he's just gonna. Okay, yeah. See, that's what they want you to do. But doing it upwards is the complicated part. Yeah, doing this upwards. <laughs> oh yeah, I get it now. Yeah. Oh. That's oh. evil. I can see what I can see exactly what needs to be done, but man, that's gonna take some execution. He's got a perfectly do short little jumps from one to the other, preferably short little jumps. Right, well, we'll see how we go. See how it goes, and then we decide. Yeah. Looking okay, with please. Yeah, it's harsh. I can see exactly what it. Taking the concept to the furthest degree I can, like with this level design, it's like, how can we push this character following you around, copying your movements to its most like evil execution? Like, what can we do to make it so you have to get up close and personal to him? I mean, you can sort of skip this bit. That bit doesn't really matter. It's this bit that you got to think about. Hmm. Yeah, you should probably mm. jump that quicker. Maybe jump straight to the second one as well. Mm. Or stand on that one for a second, jump onto the next one. You've got to sort of pace yourself between mm. the two, you? Yeah, you've got to sort of jump, jump, wait, jump, wait, mm. jump, wait. So you time it for, so he's always on the opposite one. Yeah. And you've got to sort of like dance up the platforms. So you don't cross mm. paths. Mm, I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't envy you. That's <laughs> really mm. harsh. Mm, I feel like a masochist enough as it is. <laughs> Oh, this seems to be helping. Um, I to help these uh, anti turns. Hmm. Oh yeah, all of them we can get out of the way, the better. Cast Magazine has a review for the Panzer Dragoon anime on video. And they actually liked it? Wow. Oh! Surprised. No one else did. <laughs> oh wow, Neo Geo Pocket for $49.99. That's really cheap. $47.99 when bought with any Dreamcast product. Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket games for £22. Cheap! Yes, I'd have Bio Moto Union, which is not the actual name of that game, for $21.99. Yes, please. Eight. Oh, I remember this shop. What was there? Uh... Oh, yeah, it was in Basildon. Elmsford as well. Oh, yeah. There was one in Nottingham, funny enough. Mm. Up Minster. Yeah, I remember. I think we remember that shop. I think I actually bought some Dreamcast games from there. Oh, they did. 
random now you hit just there, seen that ad. Be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put that shop in Basildon. <laughs> oh god. Oh, we just. Yeah. Uh... Like short hops, I think they want. Yeah. We'll try and get into the habit. Either that. Yeah. This. I feel like this bit's almost like a little practice area. You either want to get big fell swoops over here, but what do you want to get? It tends to be when you're going upwards on a platform, mm. you want to avoid big jumps because otherwise it jumps into you. But, oh, there's all these statues. I yeah. just noticed the statues that have like, been held up somehow by Rayman, mm. or bad Rayman, and he's black of him. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Mm. I didn't even notice that, that's cool. get this far though. I certainly wouldn't be able to get this far I don't think. This mm. game seems nasty. Or at least I wouldn't be able to do it without getting incredibly frustrated. Mm. And I'll get there. Yeah, you got mm. mm. Alright. Serious? Yeah, I mean, if I if I lose all my lives at this point, then we'll uh, stop and uh, come back. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this another day. Because uh, I'm maybe Wednesday or something. If I'm honest with you, I'm getting pretty tired. Yeah, I don't blame you. I've been playing this for five and a half hours. <sighs> I don't blame you for being burnt out. Done well to last this long, to be honest. Mm. It's been grueling, pretty much from. Almost beginning to end the stream. Wait, the levels have been nasty. Like almost consistently nasty levels mm. for quite a while. That's Rayman for you. That's the original Rayman. The other ones ain't like that. It's just this one. This one was always the tricky one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you guys have really burnt the midnight oil on this stream. Yeah, I mean, a bit easy for me, I'm just sitting here talking, but... Mm. I do this all night, but obviously... Yeah, this bit makes sense. I've got to do the opposite of that, somehow. I'm gonna jump onto you, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this bit that. Yes. Oh. Get exploded, oh. Stark Grey Man. You've only got one uh, more. Oh. <laughs> Unlike you, I've spent this time wisely studying the great protein. Paris on mine now. I'm gonna combine the bodies of all these boss people in the background. Oh god, here we go. Mm. You've never seen this, uh, yeah, GG on that by the way. Oh wow, that's a lot of hit points. If you've never seen mm. the final boss of Rayman before, it's pretty strange. <laughs> it's just like a combo of all the bosses instead of being like. Wow, that's a lot of hit points. Like all the bosses combined in weird ways. I took all their sprite pieces and put them together. Mm. Oh, that one's not so bad. Ooh. Oh, him oh. again. Oh yeah, they've added him to the top. That uh, little mirror. I thought it's a mix of whatever his name is and Space Mama. Huh. Clever. Oh boy. 
I wonder if these are like an unused sprite or something. Mm. Kind of looks like it could be. Looks oh! Too, looks too good to be an original. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd have to be really jammy to do this whole boss. No, you do know most of it. Well, from the past, but yeah. He doesn't do much to these. Swings a little bit. Pulls them. Pulls them. I don't know if it's a specific framework to hit him though. It looks like he's trying to um, do some bowling. Wants to strike. How did you hit him before? I don't know. I was hitting quite consistently last time. I think, I think you have to do it just before the claw comes down. Out. Out. Out of here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, we're gonna hit each time. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure I was hitting last time. Was it in the chest? No, that ain't... Uh, I don't know. Press any key. But yeah, I'm up for more punishment. Are you? Oh. Is it the whole thing? Yes. What, the whole bit you just did? Oh, no. That's horrible. Right. Uh, all right. We're well, going to have to we're going to have to come back to this, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz we're not doing all that again. That's both the dark Rayman bits, isn't it? Mhm. Mm both of them. Oh, that's harsh. Like there's no save points between all those levels that you just spent quite a while on. Yeah, this is going to have to be a whole stream in itself just this final level <gasps> more or less certainly went the distance yeah you definitely did oh, i want to go to bed mass, <laughs> mass kudos for surviving that long through that that was grueling yeah this goes great but it's also <sighs> it's also very especially in one sitting like that i don't think it was made to be played in one sitting like that but even just that level alone it's just so much time right We'll have, a th well, we'll have a think about when we were do like a fourth part. Yeah, I think mm. if we haven't got anything else planned in the week, maybe Wednesday? Yeah. Well played anyways. Mm. We will definitely come back and have another punt at this. <laughs> yeah. Because that last turn took, what, an hour or so? Just on that one level, yeah. when you think about it, it was quite a lot of parts. It was the surfing yeah. bit, then it was the bad Rayman, then it was the reverse controls. I didn't notice the bit where you lose your gloves, though. Oh, maybe that happens a little later. I mean, you're at the final boss, so maybe it got cut. Mm, maybe. Mm, uh, that's interesting. Uh, Hands are cramping. It's my thumb, it's numb and sore. It's yeah, numb. too much D-padding. <laughs> Ooh, right well um <sighs> thanks for joining us for another rayman redemption stream mm -hmm. that was a long one and unfortunately we didn't get to beat it but you saw what we, you saw what happened <laughs> it's not it's not easy mm. <laughs> there's a lot to do with limited amount of lives i think you're gonna have to Grind for lives? I think I will have to at this point. So you've got plenty of lives to do it so you don't get a game over because you really don't want to get a game over next time mm. after working through all that. I'd say grind lives out off stream. Yeah. So you've got like, I don't know, 30, <laughs> I don't know, mm. or just lots of lives. So it's seemingly as if you've got infinite lives. If you picked casual mode, you'd still be here. <laughs> Mm. That's. I suppose that's what you've got to think about is if you were playing casual mode it would just be until you give up <laughs> mm. oh yeah it wouldn't be game it would not be Rayman without game overs like you could play it on casual if you like but you know this is this is this is the the real way to play it <laughs> the real McCoy yeah or... it's 
the trickier way of doing Probably it. Shape. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, thanks for watching me fail miserably. You didn't fail miserably, so. Mm. You got right to the end of the game in one stream mm. with all that horrible stuff you had to do for some of those levels. Some of those levels were. Mm. Remember the fork? Remember the fork? Ugh. The fork. The prick with a fork. Yeah, um, Jamie Oliver the fork. Yeah, you did really bloody well, Stace. Mm. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up because you didn't beat that gruelling final level in mm. your first go. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, all I say is it scared me off playing Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a hard game. Right, this is an amazing remake. Yeah, with tons of new stuff. Really expertly put together. My god, this game's still hard though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of... Like, if you can beat this game, it's you can put that down as like, Yeah, I beat Rayman. I beat Rayman. And they'll be like, what? <laughs> oh, I mean, I beat the original at least three times. Yeah, was that on different systems or yeah. one on PlayStation? Once or, tw once or twice on, pl on PlayStation, maybe once on the Saturn because I did that walkthrough. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Cool. Right, so we'll um, let you know when we are doing another one of these, probably in the week, because mm. we have a podcast tomorrow at eight pm. I think mm. it's the seventy seventh. So we've got that coming up. Uh, yeah, so we'll decide near yep. the time when we want to do the next one of these, and we'll hopefully we will get it next time. So mm -hmm. I say off. I'd say off stream, go around grabbing as many kings as you can, buy loads of lives. Mm. Then we'll be ready, or you'll be ready. I'm not doing mm. anything. I'm just sitting here drinking tea. <laughs> I've got it easy. Mm. Mm. I'm not even playing it. <laughs> if I was playing it, trust me, this stream would be a lot louder, a lot angrier, and a lot worse. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think I'd have the patience <laughs> for some of the stuff you've done tonight. Uh. The GG. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. There we be off then? Yeah. Yep. Alright. We'll be back. Another day. Okay. Week. Oh, like I'm all purple, like grey mm. man. I'm, I'm in the. I, I'm <sighs> so purple. Right, yeah, cool. See you next time we do this, which will probably be Dark Souls is the Rain Man or Ratchet RPG. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll be it, yeah. Oh, mm. my dear. Well, you are. Mm -hmm. I'm not even in this game. Why am I not in this one? Because I wasn't invented yet. I wasn't even <sighs> a twinkle in someone's eye yet. Alright, see you later. Alright, thank you and good night. See ya. Oh, he's, 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 oh yeah, he's like, to wind up. He's winding up. Uh, alright, alright, we're leaving. See ya. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh. Uh.